Hello and welcome to the first... One Stop Co-op Shop, your one stop for co-op news, reviews, and playthroughs. It's Friday. It's going to be our new cooperative card game night. I had to get that all out. Cooperative card game night. What's up, Terrence? How's it going? It's going pretty well, you know. I, I Another... love how you just asked me a question and answered it yourself. How's it going? It's going pretty well. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, you know, I figured I'd answer for you. Yeah. Well, it's Friday, right? So there is that. Yeah. Um, and actually, you know, it was so funny beforehand. You're like, oh, I should get on the stream. And I did not do that. So I will not see any chat that's going on. So I apologize. But yes, you'll notice I didn't say Marvel Champions Friday. Um, we are going to try doing a little bit more... Um, not just Marvel Champions, but the other living card games, as well as some other games like Sky Terror Horde or um, Ashes Reborn, maybe some Key Forge. Uh, yeah, so just a bunch of different stuff to um, to wet your whistle. Because honestly, we've been doing this for what over two years now. Is that right, Terrence? Uh, yeah, I don't remember when we started. I think Marvel Champions is three, a little over three years old now. 2019 no no no. but our stream our friday night streams we started december right like two years ago a little over two years yeah ago? i feel like it wasn't the first year right it was 2020 for sure so um we'll see we'll see we're gonna try mixing it up a bit uh if we don't like it or if you don't like it if we get outrage um then we will go back to just playing marvel champions but the whole point of this, when we first started the channel, was to cover all the cooperative games out there. Um, not just Marvel Champions, but Friday kind of became our Marvel Champions night, and it became comfortable. So just kind of kept doing it, uh, whether you know whether we needed to or not. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, I've enjoyed all the games we played, but uh, I figure we should go back to kind of the point of the streaming channel, which is you know playing lots of variety of cooperative games. Um, so we'll see. Ah, we got Victor Von Doom out there that says, Yay Claw, one of my favorites for a one-off game, mixing some modular classics, uh, villains from Hood. Uh, Craig, which is a new name, says, Good evening, everyone. We got the Black Dog, another new name. It says, Happy Friday, Happy Friday. And it is a good Friday, Terrence. That was a play on words. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. appreciate that. You you like the Easter humor? You don't you don't you don't get yeah. a lot of Easter humor in uh, on the internets these days, so uh, I, I figured I'd throw it in there. But uh, do you want to tell everybody why we were fighting against Claw this week? Yeah, so our friends over at uh, Marvel Champions Monthly are doing uh, basically an event. Of, uh, I don't know if everyone lives near a kind of a friendly little game store that's actually running the op kits uh the organized play kits that uh i guess fg advertised during their last marvel champion stream at the end where they have the cool kind of alt art um cards um with the kind of booster packs i think enrage a bunch of the community um but kenny hawk over there got uh his local game store to I think get him two OP kits that he is basically using to kind of just help organize um, some organized play over the internet where people can basically play these scenarios that they're setting up uh, and then you can enter. Um, they have a Google form where if you play that scenario, you can enter in and then uh, you can enter once a week for kind of the month. And then at the end of the month, they're going to pick two winners to get, I believe, two packs and then a dial from the OP pack. Awesome. All right. So bottom line is we have left in the show notes. There is a link to that Google form. So if you play Claw with Brotherhood this month, go ahead and fill out the form. Uh, this this week, I yeah, I think it's this month, but this is the oh, one okay. for this week. So they'll be doing one All right, for each so week. So hurry up and get your submissions in. Play Claw with Brotherhood, and you too will submit. Although I'm not submitting, um, even though I would like the organized play stuff, I feel like it's weird for me to to do that. Um, so I, I am making myself ineligible, and I am not going to submit. But everyone out there should play and submit for some cool alt art OP stuff. Um, and so we're continuing on our year of playing new champions. So 
We have not yet played Iron Man or Drax, so I'm playing Iron Man this week with a pretty standard Justice deck. I didn't do anything fancy. Um, as you may have guessed, I didn't spend a whole lot of time putting this deck together, so uh, yep, I didn't do anything too fancy. And I know you were focused on one card specifically, which was Joka yep. Skill. Uh, yeah, so this comes from Rogue's, Rogue's Pack, uh, and it's kind of interesting. It um, you get three counters on, it, so it's uh, you know, it goes away. Um, so it's two two costs for three counters, and basically anytime you defend, uh, you get to remove a counter to get minus two attack. Uh, so I think, you know, like you look at those kind of two defense heroes like Drax's, and um, potentially gives them a little more consistency on being able to kind of defend uh, there. I mean, it basically makes them four defense, right? And not only that, but even if he decides not... Oh, no, you do have to defend against it. You do have to defend. Um, so, I, so I've thrown in a few other cards like Defiance in here. Yep. Um, to kind of get that defense and then kind of get rid of uh, one of those things. Um, yep, if he turns up a big boost. Now I know he does turn up two boosts at a time because that yep. is Claw. Um, Claw also starts, if you remember, with this, which um, is just stops you from removing threat from the main scheme. But he also starts off with this, which is an acceleration and gives him plus 10 hit points, which is awesome. Um, all right. Uh, so I am Iron Man. Do you want to go first or second? Uh, the person who goes first gets a minion. Um, I so... am not going to flip up, probably. So you tell me what you want there. I guess then sure take it i guess threat that's like a that's like a peter problem right sure uh oh i got ingenuity well for turn one seems good uh i got a hell i mean all those cards seem good start uh well i'm gonna get rid of eros and clear the area right the question is do i get rid of helicarrier and or stark's tower can you play all of it? So you get I what? Three more. Can't. You get two more cards. Three more cards if you, when you do futurist as well, right? Yeah. So Star Tower. The problem is I'm not gonna have. Oh, I could pay using tech and then get it with Stark Tower again. Yeah. And you can use it on next turn if you're staying down. Yeah, if I stay down. We'll see what happens. I mean, I have zero tech upgrades right now, so the odds of me staying down are 99% because uh, I don't want a hand size of one, <laughs> which seems bad, right? But what doesn't seem bad is having tons of extra resources. Um, so, yeah. All right, I'm just going to stick with this. I'm going to draw two more cards. Oh, I got a mansion also, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that ain't happening. And yeah, no, no, no. All right. So let's start with um, action. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Add one to your hand and discard the others. Oh, I could discard tech things too here. Well, there's Rocket Boots. Surveillance Team and Ironheart. Uh, so do I draw Ironheart? I mean, you take the Rocket Boots, right? Well, no, no, no. But I can get the Rocket Boots with Stark Tower. Otherwise, I won't have any tech upgrades in my discard pile. So I, I mean, you could literally use you could literally use rocket boots to pay for something, and then pull it back with Stark could. Tower. Like you could use it to pay for Stark Tower. Yeah, but I mean, since it doesn't matter, why not keep Ironheart? Because I have a hope and a prayer of playing her, right? Really? Do you? So genius pays for ingenuity, ingenuity and Avengers Mansion, Mansion and. Repulsor Blast? Pay for Helicarrier? Yep. Uh, and Helicarrier and Ironheart pay for Stark's Tower, which I will not use this turn. Um, because there's no reason to decrease my hand size for next turn. Right? Sure. I mean, that seems good, though. Ingenuity and Helicarrier. I mean, for a, for a Tony Stark like zero upgrade turn one seems pretty good still well here's the question do i actually stark's tower right now and draw the one less card because next turn what if i out of my three cards for my futurist what if i draw like two things and i want to pull more than one back to my hand 
Do I take the hit? I mean, I feel I feel like you take the boots just because. Yeah, just because G, uh, Futurist could mess me up next turn otherwise. Um, Look how garbo this hand is, dude. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So cool. go ahead. Your turn. Doing nothing, dude. What do you mean you're doing nothing? I'd have a trash hand. You got payback. <laughs> You got. I actually can't play anything, so that's funny. Is that true? You literally can't play anything. Can't play anything. These are all <laughs> cards you can't play. So are you discarding anything? Are you discarding everything? I'm discarding everything except defiance. Wait, you're gonna probably. not keep your double resource? No. Yeah. I mean, have do you play Drax? Like Lily, you you like discard hard for. Um, do we tweet? Oh, we got Mary and uh, Brent right, in the chat years. also. By the way, welcome, welcome everybody. I think you. I think you want to get do we yes. tweet as fast as I, you can. It's like I don't disagree what you with want. that at all. Um, all right. So what did you do? You hit one thing. What are you hitting? I hit him. Weapon burner. Oh, thank you. I mean, like I figure you get like a whatever you can ping it to death or something, right? So yep, yep. I mean, what, what do you do with one? It's a one, one, two. All right. So our turn one. The, the, all right. So I just want everyone to appreciate what just happened here. Turn one, Tony Stark got zero tech upgrades out. Zero. Turn one, Drax played zero cards. <laughs> Literally discarded your entire hand. I mean, I feel like that's that's. After That's what you happens, hard mulliganed, dude. you like, literally have, have gone through 12 cards. Dude, I pitched, I literally pitched my entire hand before. Like, there's 11 cards in this <laughs> discard file. Yeah, so the only thing you've kept is Defiance. That's... I mean, maybe I don't keep Defiance. I think I probably should, though. I, I don't want to, like, burn through my health. I mean, hopefully I get some stuff to thwart when I, because I'm going to go up at some point here, hopefully this turn, because otherwise... Who knows? Um, all right. So this is interesting. We're, we're doing a That's thing. That's why you saved the game. Yeah, that is why I saved the game. All right. So we're adding three acceleration to the thinking bobber over here. Then I am getting he thwarted schemes. against for two plus another two is four. Plus Seven another one for my weapons runner. Yeah, getting rid of uh, exhaustion good. is real good. So he's attacking you for one plus two boosts. What are you doing? Let's see. You ignoring the uh, I think I'm going to discard that. I don't want to boost a freaking weapons runner. Attach this card. Yeah, I give him tough and five hit points. That's just like... <laughs> that sucks. Okay. So wait. I guessed right. I guessed right. So wait, 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 wait. So what does this do? It just discards it. But it says when it would be flipped up, discarded instead. Yeah, I flipped, I flipped this up. Ah. But... Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't you have to decide ahead of time? Yeah. So in other I words, you just right. cheated. No, I said I guessed right. Oh, you guessed before. I didn't, I didn't know what this was. I didn't know. I didn't know what the cards were, so I picked the first one, and it flipped up. I got it. I got it. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, I mean, hey, look, it works out for us. All right. Let's go uh, ahead. But I still take one damage, right? Hey. Business problems. I can flip to alter ego. Mm -hmm. Are you exhausting? Well, the question is, if I don't, I mean, there's no question. I'm almost definitely exhausting, right? But would this just get discarded? I don't have an upgrade. Or, oh, yes, I do. Nope. You do. You have yeah. ingenuity. No, I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely not losing ingenuity. Uh, oh, wait. I forgot to draw my other three cards. Oh, by the way, yeah, I haven't drawn my five cards. Oh, wait, you have a three-card hand size? What? No, I had defiance oh. in my hand. No do we tweet? Uh you do have a nope. Drax counter, so Yeah, attack for a hole too, dude. Feels good. I mean Oh Draxy. Huh. Doesn't feel okay. good when the villain in front of you has three. Uh I will help you kill him if need be. Uh I do have a repulsor blaster. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, I'm first player and you should take Futurist. Yep. So I will Futurist before we start. By the way, still no tech. I, I did get a so two Sonic Rifles. So there's that. 
Wow, are you kidding one. me? Uh, surveillance team I'm not putting in. I just have that for what's her name. Uh, Monica. For justice? Probably. I should probably do some thwarting, right? Although, yep. man, I'm going to have two tech upgrades. This is... Oh, no, three if I get a sonic rifle. This is interesting. Uh, okay. You and I are, are not drawn well. That is for sure. Um, let's see. The Do I tack for two here? And then fight me, coward? What is that? And that's a terrible idea. I mean, that's up to you. For one card. I mean, I feel like it's that or I remove two threat, right? But this gets me to three threat. Well, if you're going to do that, you shouldn't attack this dude, right? You should attack him when you have two counters and you attack for three. Correct? I'll take the hit from Weapons Runner. You should... Do you want to just attack face? Attack Claw, probably. I mean, you're or one... Or should I thwart one? I mean, is thwart and then one going to do anything? burn it. Yeah, Intimidation will get up to three. And I can clear it. Okay. And that, allow, that allows you to thwart main, right? Yes. If you thwart main. I mean, at I some do, point, it'll allow you to thwart main. I do have under surveillance and clear the area. Um, and for justice. So for justice. Yeah, I just I just feel like it. getting defense network off the table opens up a lot more doors. It does. It does. All right. Yes. I, I like your plan. All right. So thwart one. There. Fight me, coward. Ready. Draw a card. Can you do the two boosts, I guess? Uh, Let's see. Cool. Less cool. Uh, three. Let's boost That's two. Okay. Yeah, attack three. You need another counter. Um, so Mary says, by the way, I forgot to talk about our discussion. Uh, Fantasy Flight made another announcement that took entirely too long. Yeah, so we are actually, believe it or not, I am breaking my radio silence of looking at these announcements ahead of time, and we are gonna discuss that as our post-stream discussion. So stay tuned for that. I've already prepared, I've already got the window up and saved. We're ready for that discussion afterward. We're gonna be looking at the screen with you and talking about what the announcement says. All right. Um, so I have what doesn't kill me? Should I do that instead of intimidation? What is that? I can ready my hero and heal for two. So I can basically wipe out both of these dudes. And then leave this up? Yeah. Sure. That's fine. All right. So I'm at least killing this guy, right? Because he sucks. Yes. For sure killing Toad. Uh, and, and then what doesn't kill me gets me back up to 12 or 14. That seems pretty good, right? Yes. And I could probably hold intimidation, actually, because at that point, I'll... Next Aren't turn, I'll be get the tweet tweet? I mean, let me justice. I'll, I'll justice. Okay. I, I mean, I can for throw one for four next turn. Four, yeah, is pretty darn good with all this threat yes. on the... Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking. Um. Yeah, this, this just gets me into a good spot of, like, 12 health. Yep. And then I just kill this dude, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm good with that. That seemed like an that that's like the most cards I feel like I've <laughs> ever. Well, played. here's the this question: Do game. you want to flip down? No, because I lose all my counters. Crap, that's right. Never mind. Because I was gonna say I could Sonic Rifle. I mean, I kind of have to get Sonic Rifle. I mean, you're playing Rocket Boots, right? Like to start. Well, of uh, course. But you could use rocket boots and then pull it back, right? That is smart. Basically, you could use a sonic rifle and pull it back. Yeah, I mean, I've got two sonic rifles here, so let's do that. One sonic rifle to put out the boots. Boots give me plus one hit point. Uh, yep, use the tower to draw that. I feel like it's under surveillance and a sonic rifle. Wait, how do you still have six cards? Oh, you... you futurist. Uh, yeah, futurist. All right, so I'm going to flip over. Oh, do you need a mana? Actually, you could do 
still do the thing. Yeah, do you want me to do it? Uh, well, let's see what you do, and then if I play it, I play it. Uh, it's... one, two, one, two. Yes, I have enough. All right, so here we go. So clear the area, because because your threat removal is better than mine right now. I feel like, and I just it, it's it's a it's a three, so it would clear defense network. Yeah, one, two, three puts a sonic rifle out, right? Yep. And then one, two, puts out under surveillance. I feel like that gives us a little bit of breathing room. Yeah. And yep. then and then we put intimidation in. And then yep, I use my helicarrier for you to intimidate. Um. And remove that. Drax, the justice player. Here we go. I mean, because that was cheaper than anything I could do to remove four threat. Yep. Um, and I might as well sonic rifle to confuse, even though. Because you're gonna flip down. I'm not gonna flip Sorry. down now, but I am gonna flip down at some point this game, right? <laughs> or, oh, there or it you is. Are. All right. There it is. So I ready up and I draw one card plus two for a total of three cards. Hey, That's I did get not power gauntlets and supersonic punch. Actually, actually, really nice. Pretty good, right? Yeah, I am gonna probably flip down after supersonic punching him in the face as well. Um, since he's confused. All right. Uh, and you got Dwee Dwee. Yep. So let's talk about Dwee Twee. Everybody should know what it is, but Dwee Twee Mastery is your response after Drax makes a basic attack, draw a card, and you want Drax attacking over and over uh, after the villain attacks Drax. So so how do you ready Drax? There's another card that goes with this combo, I'm assuming. Uh, I have Limitless Stamina. Uh, I think in the original, because Limitless Stamina came in, I believe, Spider's pack? Is that right? So that's when you have 14 or more health, ready yourself for, yep. for one card? Yeah, Spider boosted a punch of, I think, the 14 hit point characters. But there was another way to ready him. The uh, but there's Lidding Blow, but I took those out and then put Defiance in for survivability. Got it. All right. Um, Well, let's add three. Oh, Nick's out there. Oh, my gosh. I haven't seen Nick in a while. Um. So Nick's out there, Wasteland, Victor. There's a lot of uh, a lot of good discussion going on out there. Unfortunately, we are playing, so I am not going to focus on it. But if you want to, if you want to pull any gems out of there, go for it. But uh, all right, so I'm adding three threat to the main scheme. Not as bad as it looks because we do have plus four to that twelve number, so it's up to sixteen. Um, then we are going to have Claw attack you. And you do anything about anything? I had defiance. You think card one or two? One was lucky last time, but that might mean law of averages that two is lucky this time. I'll let you pick this time. It doesn't, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, two. All right. All right. So this one's gone. So you... Yes. <laughs> it seems nice job, like a Peter. good one. All right. No whammies. All right. All right. It, it turns out they're about terrible. <laughs> All right, so literally I looked good for a half a second till we flipped the other <laughs> plus three boost thing. Uh, I, I literally, there was no loser in that, except they were both really bad. The only loser was me. I mean, that is. Yes. Well, I mean, I, I feel like the Defiance was still a winner because that's like three more health I have. So. Well, to be fair, this is going to be real bad for me in a second because um, I'm not blocking. I'm not doing anything. So we'll see what happens here. I'd rather you have taken those out than me. So that's only a total of three damage plus my weapons runner is a total of four damage. So we both took four damage. I mean, but way better for you to have <laughs> drawn those terrible cards than me. So go ahead and draw your card. Is it though? Because you can flip down. I mean, I will be flipping down, but... Uh, these guys. These guys. Uh, I will have a, uh, a power gauntlet, by the way, to get rid of the tough. Right? And I'm first. So, there's that. Uh, oh, I guess no. You're you don't have the... Re you do have the resources, but you ain't spending it, right? No, no, no. But exhaust a character... Oh, oh. I, I thought that was worse. I thought that was, like, give him plus 20 stats and, like, pay one of those or whatever. Uh, pay each of those. No, that's easy. I'm definitely exhausting Iron Man. Like, for what? My plus two thwart? Yeah, no. I'm I mean, at some point you have to thwart, right? That's that's the thing. Not yet. 
I'm punching him in the face. Terrence. All right. Um, okay. So, uh, I am first player. There is that. Uh, I don't... Oh, I do kind of want to go aerial. But if I go... Do you? Yes. Are you, are you supersonic punching? Yeah, I think I am for eight. But then I can't pew pew your guy if I do that. Well, I could. Oh, no, I couldn't. I could still put the gauntlet out, but I'd be down when I put it out. I assume you need my pew pew. Is, I don't need it. It just would be nice. Is my pew pew better than four more damage to the boss? I think the answer is no, right? Or do you need my helicarrier and I don't supersonic punch at all? Yeah, I guess it, like the part of the thing is I don't know what you're drawing on Futurist either when you flip down. Right. So here's the thing. When I flip down... So you want like, me to... will you be sad? Will you be sad if you get a like good card that you can't play? I guess because I won't question. have those resources anymore. So you think I just pew pew and go down and don't supersonic punch at all and save it for paying for something? I mean, worst case scenario. I mean, for it's just like is the eight damage now that impactful the claw? Probably not. All right, right? you're right. All right, look at Terrence with his logic. Uh, all right, so I'm going to strength. I mean, I, I obviously, obviously want you to get rid of tough, so. Well, all right. Plink <laughs> obviously, off I would tell tough. you that, right? Plink off your tough. Uh, so, power gauntlets do one. If I was aerial, it would be do more. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, all right, so I'm flipping down. And then I'm going to futurist to draw three. There's Monica Chang. I mean, yep. You take that. <sighs> well, do I? Because I can pull something out with Stark Power, right? Yeah, because then you could heal up to nine. All right. Well, it's up to you. I mean, so you don't keep have to this. No, 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 no. Well, but what do I pull out with this? Oh no, you can't. You can't heal this turn, so maybe not. Do you just play Monica Chang? Well, do I hold Monica Chang? Is the question. So you I get pay, rid of you can pay for Monica Chang. Well, I'm not going to pay for Chang right this now. Turn. Why not? One, two, three. Maybe. We'll see. All right. So I'm sitting here. Well, don't forget, I also have supersonic punch in my hand that I could pay for stuff with. Yeah, I'm saying one, two, right. and then you pull tech up. So I pull my you arc could, reactor. You could pay for Monica Chang if you wanted. Do you, do you think we should? I mean, at this point, you're going to have a ton of tech upgrades. Well, and I can get rid yeah, of right. Weapons Runner. So I can pull Arc Reactor next turn. Right? Uh, I think the only semi downside of uh, that is how many tech upgrades do you think are in this 15 card deck? I know. That's the problem. And I'm going to. Uh, futurist next and turn, you, and I could discard. And like you're going to want to play like all of them, right? So it almost feels like. So why don't I do hold just... Monica Chang at least? Okay. I mean, because that's easy, right? Pay these two yeah. to play the arc reactor. Right? And then I hold Monica Chang. Yeah. I give you my helicarrier. Because right now I have, okay. I have so, four I mean... tech upgrades. Out of a maximum of six. So I only need two more. Theoretically. Right? And I guaranteed to be able to get right. one, well, I could put out a second Sonic Rifle. Oh, you use my Helicarrier to put out Dewey Tweet. All right. Just for Dewey Tweet. I, I just, and then you, I kill him, right? Yep. I Better better than hitting him. Draw a card. Put Energy Barrier in. So that lets you I hold, hold Gamora, Gamora or you don't care about Gamora? Wasteland said, Man, ouch, just... losing Dwee Twee. We're not losing Dwee Twee. Uh, oh. Warren's... Mary what? says she's officially right. retired as of last Saturday. Congratulations, Mary. Um, You know, I feel like we should bring Mary in. So, Mary, if you are still up and don't stay up on purpose, but feel free to come in and discuss... 
because I know you, we, we talked to you last and you were super sad about the lack of announcements. So if you want to go through the announcement with us afterward, feel free to hang on, Mary, and uh, we'll bring you in at the end. So are you holding Gamora? What do you think? It's like the Peter move because you're also holding a three cost ally. I think the big benefit of Gamora is mostly allows you to cycle into uh, events, right? Yeah. Go for it. Uh, I mean, that's basically your whole hand next turn, though, right? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but I probably want... Oh, wow. Look at this again. Right? Look at this again. A good thing I played that arc reactor because I'm not drawing my upgrades at all. Uh, I did get another under surveillance, which is fine. Like, that's just a resource at this point. I do have a crisis, crisis averted, averted, which seems yeah. really good for next turn. I don't think I can get that. Monica Chang, power gauntlets. Who knows? I mean, depends if you need my hello carrier or not. All right, but let's add three. Bink, bink, bink. Uh, I'm not doing great at. At keeping thread under control. Got to be honest, Terrence. I am uh, I am the justice player that doesn't justice, as you know. But I did confuse, so that's good. I got that going for me. We're at 15 of the 16 before it goes away. So if it does pop, I do have another under surveillance that we could play instead of Crisis Averted. Um, I feel like I haven't seen any advances. Uh, so I'm a little worried at this point. Um, but you are getting attacked, sir. So how do you want to deal with this? Uh, sh I should At 8 health, I probably should defend... You just got Dwee Twee. Do you have anything to ready yourself? Fight me, Fight coward, me but coward. that seems terrible. Nah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll confuse. You go down next turn, and you'll heal a ton, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, or, oh, you have energy bear. Yeah, I do have energy bear. I shake it off. It's fine. So you defend me? Uh... I'm not shake defending. It off I don't I even I, know. I it gives me tough. Terror takes any amount of damage. Oh. I'll see. There we go. Get exhausted Two, three. anyways. Oh, you got exhausted anyway. So four total damage. Uh, well, are you taking it from energy bear? Yeah, I'm going to take. Now let's kill you, dude. Hey! I mean, I could kill him with my little pokey poke, but yeah, it's more fun if you poke them with your energy bear uh okay so draw cards yep you don't seem very happy terrence well i, I just don't like it, it the, the avalanche thing always just feels bad it's like oh i chose not to defend <laughs> i got exhausted anyways yep all right well Kick you while you're down we couldn't have come at a better time honestly who cares about for more on here acceleration for now. and 10 health yeah i mean for now i don't care honestly all right so you're first you want me to feature it first yes i mean you take mark well don't forget i can get it but i mean it basically doesn't matter what you take well, if I if I take the Mark Armor, then I can get something else, to help, the, the other uh, Sonic Rifle, to just help me pay for stuff. The question is, do I want to play Fury? I mean, I'm clearly Probably. not keeping Crisis averted. Is there a way to play Fury? Keep play Fury. And like and pay play pay for all your other stuff now. And pay for Mark Armor and pay for Power Gauntlet, Power Gauntlet and Mark Five Armor get me to my seven card hand size which seems good because then i won't be flipping down anymore at least unless it's a health thing does the flip down matter that much when you have sonic rifle that's true so get rid of fury i mean i guess uh like what is your plan to play crisis averted like what's your plan hopefully get out my two things and crisis averted i don't know if i can pay for all of it honestly but that's my plan i mean we could math it all out right. if you want i i feel like maybe i do the like I not got, exciting well thing hold on here. i got three resources here to pay for the armor two resources to pay for that and three for crisis averted i can do it all 
Um, or I could do three for Monica Chang if we think that's better. Do you think I just take the slow turn here? And like, I could fight me coward, which would ready me. Draw a card. Villain tax me. I have tough. And then flip and I down. We tweet to draw another card. And then flip down. I think you need to flip no, down. I mean, I, I have Mantis. She'll heal me for three. I guess it's like, do you do the greedy thing? Limitless stamina to ready your hero? No, the greedy thing is to play Fight Me Coward. It will draw me another card. And ready. And then I ready. I lose the tough. But then I also, I'll draw like three cards out of it, right? Wait, why do you draw? So what's Tweet Tweet? Let me, let me remember. Let's just draw a card. Why would you draw three? I, I draw a card from Fight Me Coward. I draw a card from him attacking me. And I draw a card from Tweet Tweet. So that's three cards. Well, if you can't draw a card. And then you get a card for Tweet Tweet. For fight me coward. For fight me coward, and because and I'm at three. Yeah, you do that. Of course right. you do that. Yeah, and who cares what these boosts are, right? Nothing, nothing. Boom, boom. Because we need to get rid of the advances from this deck too, dude. Like I'm a little worried about that, as much as anything. Oh, Mary says she will probably join us at the end. Oh, my daughter's here to join us. Come, Allie. Yo. Um, I don't have the Wi-Fi password, so. Well, I'm not giving you the Wi-Fi password on I know, stream. I know. <laughs> I, I... Does mom not have it? Um, I didn't ask her. I was just. No, saying. no, no, Allie. Hold on, I'll give it to you. Stop. Are you sure? Yeah. Watch out. All right. So, Terrence, uh, what's going on? Uh, I feel like the play still probably put Mantis in, right? Heal three health. Thank you. Thank you, Terrence. Or thank you, Terrence. Thank you, Allie. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> for whatever that was. Uh, uh, heal for three here, right? Yeah, of course. And then... Um, wait. Was that only two cards? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Before I play anything, let me draw one more card. Just punch him in the face for four, right? Draws me another card. Okay. So I have this. You could limitless stamina twice and punch for eight more. Oh, oh, you didn't play Mantis yet. Got it. Yeah, I think I I think I play Mantis. And Jidoku? Can you? Uh do you That's if I give you my Helicarrier, but that would really mean I can't do one of the three things I need to do. Which are put in my gauntlet, my armor, and crisis averted. So the question is, is Jidoku more important than those things? Let's see. Do I put Jidoku in instead? Of Mantis? Yeah. Well, Mantis heals for three, three times. So that's a nine. Jidoku... Minus two attack, which may or may not matter three times. And is it minus two to their attack, meaning he only gets zero attack, which means the boost still boosts the same? So it's really only minus one attack? You know what I mean? No, I assume it's like, I assume it's like he has a minus two attack and then you add all the stuff together. Okay. That's why I'm assuming. But she's still better, right? I guess so. Uh, let's burn Judoko. And then do I just hold these? Seems okay. Yeah, limitless stamina now. You don't have enough stamina for that. Or uh, hand size. I mean, but I don't. I don't really care about the stuff I draw now, right? Because I have tweet tweet out. Oh, you're not going to shake it off. Deck. Well, Shake It Off gives me a tough, right? So that allows me to basically kind of just heal up more at this point without having to flip down, right? Makes sense. Go for it. Um, I think that that's good. And then I heal up to eight. Nice. All right. So you're holding? I think I'm holding. 
You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. All right, I'm going to get my sonic rifle, which we all know is in here. Um, and pay under surveillance to put out my other pew pew hand gauntlet. Um, I'm going to pay, oops, one, two, three to put in my armor, which gives me plus six hit points, which seems good. I am then going to flip and pay one, two, three, four, crisis averted to remove six threat from the main scheme, which seems not only good, but necessary. Uh, then I'm going to use my arc reactor armor to ready myself. I will thwart for two more. Uh, we'll do main for now, but I'll work on claw in a minute. Uh, and then I'll pew pew for two damage and I will sonic rifle to confuse. All that seemed good. Yep. Um, now for now, sonic rifle, I can't use again, quote unquote, can't, um, because it's one of my six cards that are giving me plus hand size. Um, but hopefully next turn that will change. All right. So I'm readying up. I am drawing seven cards, which decks me, uh, which also means who cares about the Sonic Rifle uh, in a second. Uh, but I do need to draw an encounter card because I decked myself. Oh, did you shuffle for me? Thank you, Terrence. Yeah. You're were, you were a gentleman and a scholar. Gonna add oh, man, you finally got the helmet. <laughs> three of the main scheme. Which one's the helmet? That's the Thority one, right? The, 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 the only armor tech piece that actually does thwarting, like threat mobile. I mean, it's only one. Uh, I mean, if I'm Ariel, it's from each. Ooh. And get a second boots. Ooh, pepper pots, finally. Um, Oh, and that's not... Whatchamacallit? That's not... Yeah, but I still feel like the the like most important thing is like heroic intuition, right? Being able to for six a turn. Yeah. Well, heroic intuition and the helmet. Are both going to be pretty important here. All right. All right. Um, where are we? So we're to the villain. I already added the threat. Now he is going to attack you with his attack attack. What you yeah, doing? I hope I don't die. Zero. Well, that's a zero and an advance gone, which is good. All right. So I'll take one less. So I take two. And oh, poke the damage. Yeah, poke the damage. Shake it off to give me tough. All right, so here's what I'm praying for. Do you know what I'm praying for here? What? A two boost right here. Do you know why I'm praying for a two boost right there? What haven't we seen yet? Shadow. Boom. Boom! <laughs> Did I just call that? Did I just call that? Boom! Plus one. So total of three. Boom, boom, boom. Four damage. Down eight health. Dude, that's fine. I got I got arc reactor. I'm not that worried about it. Dude, did I just call shadows in the deck there? You know what would have been way worse? If it wasn't part of that boost and we just drew it. Oh, come on, Terrence. That was good. Uh, I'm going to take the stun. <laughs> I mean, it's not a terrible time to flip down. It kind of is, but <laughs> it's not. I just feel like it's so much work to like build up those counters, man. Yeah, the, the problem is you don't even get the benefit of being down, like, drawing hand size, right? That's the job. No. Now, yeah. you would get um to heal, what, six? Yeah. So to almost full. All right. Well, let's see what kind of garbage I get. Uh, Hero, the villain attacks you. You know what we haven't seen? Allies. 
So let's hope I don't die. One and two. So that's four. Yep. Yeah, guess who's going down next turn? Oh. Seven? I'm assuming you want me to get rid of this. I know you hate Yeah, I mean, Ari Ariel eight. probably would be good. You get three thwart off of that one one little dinky helmet. Uh, don't you worry. I am going Ariel because I got ingenuity as well. All right. So that makes well, going Ariel player. easy. So I am first player. Um, uh, I'll take an action and heal myself because that's boring. Nice. Uh, all right. So what do I not care about? War machine. War machine. <laughs> to put in my helmet. Um, do I put in the boots or not even worry about them? I mean, they're a card I, I can draw they, back with Stark Tower. Yeah, so they just. I? I just don't think you care about them right now. I mean, it's one hit point, right? Like, I, I don't care about that. He's confused already, so going down is not a problem. I mean, I still think the boots are nice because they're good. Um, they're good discard tech. That's what I'm saying. They're discard tech right now for Stark Tower. No, right? I mean for like if you got get the discard encounter. Oh, I see what well, you're it's saying. It's nice to like kind of pitch it. I mean, I, I'd, I'd pitch the boots anyway, probably, right? And then just eventually get them with Stark Tower. How important is Pepper Potts here? Not very. You have Ingenuity, dude. Well, I have Ingenuity <laughs> and Helicarrier. Do you need Helicarrier this turn? Uh, Unknown. Well, the question is for justice, right? So I'm going to Ariel. Let's go Ariel with the boots. Okay. Yeah, so then let's your boots. Mark helmet. Is that just that? All right. So Pepper's gone, or do I hold her? I could pay for her this turn. I could do one, two, three to pay for Pepper Potts and then use her and Helicarrier to pay for Ingenuity or to pay for uh, Heroic Intuition. But that would leave me not for Justicing. I feel like I kind of need a four. Well, no. Six, I got. Three. You you can you can, oh, you no, can do that. If... Three yet. Yeah, you got you to gotta play everything first and then you thwart twice and flip down. So how... Is Pepper more important than for justicing this turn is the question and giving you Helicarrier? Uh, I think you can plan without giving me Helicarrier if you have to. Well, actually, I can't give you Helicarrier no matter what because I'd have to quake in Pepper Pots to Heroic Intuition. Then I'd have to Ingenuity and Helicarrier. Oh, no, no, no. For justice, I could pay for with the boots. Never mind. All right, yeah, I give you Helicarrier. Does it what? help you even a little bit, or no? I don't. It depends. I don't know. It depends on what I draw. So it doesn't oh, okay. matter. All right, so I'm paying two for heroic intuition, thwarting, arc reactor, thwarting again. So this garbage, done. Then uh, oh, I would do it in different oh, order oh. to get the four. How would you you had Quake here. Way? I would hold Quake and then just use Ingenuity. So, but here's the question. How do I... No, no, One, I... two. Yeah. Well, no, I had to pay for... So I'm holding Quake. I'm holding for Justice. You paid one, two. Right, right. For, for Heroic Intuition. So the question is, do I quake or for justice? That's up to you. Uh... Well, now, if I used ingenuity before, I can't for justice for four, only for three. If that matters. Honestly, it doesn't matter, right? Quake. Yeah, then just, just use ingenuity. You can use Helicare instead. And then just ingenuity. I mean, so I just do what I said originally, right? Yeah. I mean, do you, I guess like, do you want Pepper Pots instead and then just hold on threat? I don't think I'm that concerned about the threat. So hold Pepper Pots and say for justice just... is 
or uh, I, no, you you can ignore it and then you just burn everything. Like you don't put heroic intuition out, right? No, so no, no you... I do, I do, I do. Stop, stop. Because don't forget, I'm a futurist when I go down, and I have Star Tower when I go down. I have plenty to pay for Pepper Pots. I have no problem okay. paying for Pepper Pots when I go down. I have all right. Tons and then of... just flip down, right? Just flip down a futurist. Uh, well, no, 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 no. Pew pew for four. Come on now. That's not nothing. Uh, all right. So now I flip down. So now I futurist. <laughs> oh. Mansion or energy? Because mansion I can give to you, right? Yep. I could mansion instead of pepper pots to give you card draw. Would that make you happy, yeah, Terrence? I mean, I feel like mansion is better than pepper pots. No? Right. All right. So I'm discarding these two. You, and then Drawing you're mansion. Get the oh, boots back. And then I'll start to get the boots back. And then one, two, three, four. Draw a card, turns. That is called pro play right there. Brought to you by Terrence. All right. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of Stunned. Yeah. Mary said, Peter actually thwarted. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I feel. Uh, do you think I hold Defiance? Probably hold Defiance, right? I don't know. I think it's a good card. Well, but Energy Barrier is really good, too. Because I could play another Energy Barrier, though. Yeah. I would pay. I would play the second Energy Barrier. Wait, wait, wait. I won't. I only have one card, so I can't pay for the second Energy Barrier. Never mind. Wait, why? What? I need to spend two to pay for what doesn't kill me, because that's just probably better to heal oh, up. Oh, yeah, and then and hold ready. Defiance. Yep. And I hold Defiance? Yeah. I'll draw one card. I just don't know what it's going to be, right? Yes. Well, or do you we'll hold see. limitless stamina? No, I need it because I need the physical. Oh. Got it. All right. That's him for four. I, for, I promise I'll uh, take that 10 down before you you get him down to 10. I promise you that that is the that is the promise I'm making. Now will I keep? That? Uh, I mean, you hold knife leap right at this. <laughs> uh, ye what can you play it? Oh no, when you make a basic attack. Actually, I think I burn defiance and hold that. Well, it's barrier. too late now, dude. Can't do that after. Well, no, and just because I have the tough. Oh, you screwed that up then. Well, but Energy Barrier you played a while ago, didn't you? Oh, no, no, no. That was part of the cost. No, I just used it for that. I mean, your call, man. I, I, I think Energy Barrier is better, personally. Oh. And don't forget, I can give you a resource and card draw every turn now. You know I, what I mean? So uh, your four cards... I, I think I... You, you, de you definitely hold Night Leap, I mean, right? of course. You like, hold both. For sure. I feel like you hold both. All right. You done? Yeah. Could you you couldn't have defiance mine though, I assume. Well you get a second energy barrier anyway, so it doesn't matter. Too stubborn to die? I mean it's not terrible. It gets out of the deck. I'll be shuffling soon. Yep, your call. Uh I mean energy barrier is better, but so one, two, three. Uh he tries to scheme against me but is confused. He tries to attack you, but you are tough. Um which adds an acceleration here. Somebody needs to deal with this threat, man. Who's a justice player? To, oh, what's this? Attach this card to a minion and give it the tough status. Well, there's there are no minions. So, boom, boom. Um, all right, so your tough takes all of that, and I draw a card. Oh, I should probably ready up and draw up, right? Yeah. 
Is that a, is that a thing we say in the industry? Uh, yeah. Hard game search. Oh no. Man, how many times have you gotten that? Uh, every time. Although here's the problem. It. You want like, to heal at some heal. point? At, at, yeah. I mean, I, I have. I mean, that's what Aerith is for, so you can chomp, right? No, no. Well, hold for on. I got Fury. Yeah, 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 no. Fury is definitely for chumping. Oh, uh, here you go, Blob. Cool. I get scared of Blob, but then Please I realize body. it's like Blob and not Blob 3.14. I mean, he still has. Uh, I mean, Blob 3.14 is just annoying because he like you only do two damage at a time. Yeah. All right, I'm first. Uh, this is true. You, so you're you a first player. Sing. I will futuristing. I think double resource is probably the card. Although crew quarters. That are crew quarters. Oh man. I do want to put Fury out, and I'd like to get another Sonic rifle because this one's about to be spent, right? What do you think? Uh, you're welcome to use all your own resources, man. It's fine. So keep crew quarters is what you're saying? No, I'm just saying like you can don't you don't have to hold resources for me. Well, we're gonna see what you need. Like, do you want the card draw? Right. No, I'm gonna you... knife leap first. Okay. For free, so that's uh five plus four nine against Bob six, so that's three overkill. Seems good. Uh, draw a card. Oh, knife. No. Uh, yeah. I mean, so tell me what resources you want. Like, if you want card draw, let me know. I guess what? Do you, so what are you playing? You're gonna play Fury to draw cards, though, right? So let me start with this. Let me start with Stark Towering to draw these boots. Right. Um, so are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna Fury to draw? Yes, yeah, so cards I'm to draw for your Sonic rifle, which would pay for my Sonic rifle. I'd like to for Justice or Crisis Averted, one of the two, if not both. Crew quarters um, wouldn't make me sad, but like it's a lot of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. And do I need? To I mean, Ariel. Would... Ariel wouldn't be terrible either. That's two extra damage and one extra support for one resource. Yeah, I mean, I guess if if I take the helicarrier, I can play Drax's other knife, and I would hold parry, which would help Boom, me stay done. up. But it's also not Dra terrible Drax's other knife. for me to spend it. Yep. All right. Would the card the draw have been anyways. better for you, or the helicarrier? No, I'm, I'm gonna hold this. It's fine. You take it. All right. So you're good. Well, the question is, do you think you get a double resource? But double resource wouldn't even help you. Oh, there's Monica Chang back again. She's like never getting played. <laughs> well, but isn't she like she's two thwart the turn she comes out and then like three more thwart and a chumper the rest of the game. Like she's definitely not terrible. You know what I mean? No, she's not terrible. I was just like, you got like Nick in your hand, you know? And like, it's just well, like Nick's two thwart once and one chump. Like Monica and draw has, three cards. Well, the, the draw three cards. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> like, all right, fine. So the question is, are you are you going to crew quarters before you flip? And that probably you're probably playing Nick first before you flip up. Yeah, so let's play Nick and see where we're at afterwards. So I'm playing Monica. I'm playing the Rocket Boots, and I'm playing Repulsor Blast. Probably. We, we need me to thwart more than we need me to attack right now, right? Is that four? I didn't count. Uh, no, that was three. One, two, three. Um, so you're not doing both for Justice and Crisis Verd, so you got to pick one to pitch. What do you want to see me? I mean, I got to take down Main. So Main. Yeah. I mean, I think that also means I can't Sonic Rifle, right? I mean, you can always hold one single card. Oh, I'm drawing you three. Always... I haven't drawn my three yet. Yeah, but you got to pay for something first, right? Well, maybe I get rid of arrows. Oh, arrows is too thwart and a chump. Yeah. Uh, so I got to pay one more. Well, yeah, all, that's why I was these, saying you pick one of your. So I pay ingenuity. Okay. Because I mean, 
Ariel I wanted for Rocket Boots, but I got so much mental it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm drawing three. Okay. All right. So that's so now where we you. Are. So so do you want to pay for crew quarters and heal first, or you don't care? So I got one, two. Well, hold on. So I have six for these two cards. One, two, three, four, five. I do. I could pay six to get another Sonic Rifle and Crisis Averted. The question is, how much do I care about the other Sonic Rifle? If I don't I... think you care that much because you can only pull out your discard pile unless That's you're decking. True. Um, or or you just wait like you wait till like you confuse it gets in your discard and you pull it back and play it again right well i'm playing it right now and then i'm gonna deck is the problem i think you don't i don't think you burn or, it you just hold I don't it burn it i hold it because you don't need it now right that's true i mean i do have four life though Let's... And and then you can you can justify basically so like when you flip quarters, down and then one play. two three and then I could pay for a one cost card. That's a problem. Which like is... then I'm sitting on two wasted cards. Right? And you don't have to play crew cores. I'm just saying. Well, I could for justice it. instead of crisis averted. I think that's fine. It's two one, less. One, two, three. And then I got something for two. So I could put out a surveillance team or arrows. Arrows. So do I do arrows, crew quarters, and for justice then? Yeah, that's fine. I think that's good. Okay. So what we're saying is a crew quarters now. Yeah. Use it to heal me one. Flip yeah, up. Yeah, because you're, you're, your recovery is like trash, right? Well, Three. I mean, I have arc reactor, so it's not... Is what it is, right? All right. So I t pay two, including a mental for, for justice. Oh, wait. I'm not going to be aerial this turn either, but whatever. Remove four. Do I try to burn this down? I don't think I can get it. I mean, four, hate, five, right? six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Actually, I can I mean, get it. All right, I'm doing it. So four off of this. Right. Fury's gonna do two off of it. I am gonna arc reactor to thwart it for three more. Which gets rid of this garbage and puts him down to eighteen health. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, then I am going to pay for Eros. Uh, I can only confuse main, right? Minion. So, yep. Thwart two off main with him. And then Helmet. Thwart one, one with Helmet. Plink two with these things. Feels good. I mean, that's not a terrible turn. Like, that, that's definitely not terrible. All right. Oh, there you are, Night Nurse. We're going to ready up and draw seven cards, which decks me again, by the way. I just decked for the first time. Thanks, Drax. I mean, I only have 17 cards in my deck as well. <laughs> and I got Ironheart, who's just going to... Uh, no, I basically, like, I basically, like, burn most of my deck oh, until I got Oh, and I'm going to double retweet. Repulsor Blast this turn. Which is another 10 nice. cards gone out of my deck. <laughs> and maybe Sonic Punch. Which is... Uh, just, oh, yeah. All right. It's game time, fellas, is is what we just said here. All right. Uh, all right. So we'll Come at me, bro. Three to the main. Uh, he is attacking yeah. you. Are you doing anything about it? Parry. Let's well, go. I would take damage, so I got to wait. Uh, that's yep. a lot. Feel, oh, wait, so I only Seven prevent damage. for eight, eight damage. Double my attack. When you would take any amount of damage, prevent eight of that. Uh, eight. Eight's enough. That's seven. Yeah, he attacks for seven. Yeah. Whew. That See, I'm glad I used that helicarrier now. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, retaliate one. Oh, he's going down in the blaze of glory, by the way. In case you were wondering what's about to happen this turn. Bye-bye, Claw. Uh, oh, I get to draw a card, right? We, we, we may burn him all the way down. Oh, you decked also? Yeah, we may burn yeah. him all the way down this turn. Uh, two Repulsor Blasts and a Sonic Punch? Plus whatever you're doing? I'm not doing very much. Oh, discard. Oh, oh, he never attacked me. Stop. This is my boost. Oh. 
Uh, blocking with fury, obviously. Oh, bye bye. All right, everybody needs to drink because that's double shadows of the past boosting. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Of so course he's attacking me again. What were your? Oh, he's attacking you. Uh, hold on, I have arrows. You want me to chomp? Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> like, oh, you got arrows. All right, arrows blocks. I'm just gonna do this because. 0% chance arrows lives through this. Cube, cube, cube. Doo, 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 doo. way -oh. Alright. Oh. Now I'm a little vulnerable, though. You may need to block for me. Is the only negative of that. Okay. Are we alright with that? Sure. If I get... <laughs> uh, He would have been exhausted anyway, so it was the right call. Yes. Oh. That's fine. That's fine. You're stunned? Stun me. Yep. Stun me, baby. Stun me all night. Um. So the question is, do I play Ironheart before I do all this other ridiculousness? And the answer is probably, right? Sure. Hard draw. You need the right. jump. So, Ironheart, draw the card. <laughs> so, Ingenuity makes me Ariel. Let's 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 just start with that. <laughs> um, what do you need as far as Helicarrier Mansion? Is anything going to get you something really good? Well, I'll pay for Gamora and Night Nurse. And boots like do you need all of it it's fine if you do just let me know i mean now. i would take at least one so repulsor blast isn't as good as sonic punch right is... it depends on how good your deck is i i did not build it for that um because then wanted... it's not as good all right so i just double sonic punch with what's in my hand because right? if you if you f unless you're like drawing like if you draw five, that's like eleven damage, right? So it is but potentially I mean, I'm better. But it, here. but yeah, I mean, if you're going aerial, if you're going to bother going aerial, then I think Repul Sonic Punch is just more consistent unless you right. built your deck, which I've seen tons of mental. So I don't. Yeah, think no, no, I did a lot of mental. So there's one Sonic Punch for eight, and here's another Sonic Punch for eight. All right, so you're just flipping them. Right flipping now. them. Yep. All right, I assume you're going to ping top off with Ironheart. Yep. Blood ink. Um, so there goes tough. And then boom, boom for four, right? I guess I was a little overexcited by saying we could kill him this turn, but it was still, still felt good. Thwarting for one. You know, thwart for three. I think I got a thwart for three. Which means I mean, that's I'm why you just that's why you went through all that work to get crew quarters, right? I mean, I'm just never gonna heal. Let's be honest. All right, sonic rifling. I almost put it in my trash, by the way. How fun would that have been? Uh, to confuse. You're just really trying to thin that deck, huh? Yes, yes, I am. All right, going down. I'm going down. I'm not gonna start tower. I'll just do it next turn to get that sonic rifle back. Is but I will crew quarters for healing one. Yay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess I, I just did 12 damage, 14 damage, mansion? something like that. Oh yeah. I assume I get mansion mansion. Oh, 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 should I futurist? That's the question actually. Yeah. Well, if you're going to, yeah, you could. Yeah. yeah before I give you mansion. Us. Yeah. Let me futurist. There's my Chang again. Do I care about Quake? Up to you. Well, is Quake worth more than... Because I could keep Crisis Averted. Why don't I do that? I'll just hold Crisis Averted. And that way you get Helicarrier okay. and Mansion. Sure. Uh, All right. So, so Quake, I'll Mansion. spend Mansion. Uh, I'll spend the Helicarrier on Gamora. Okay. Uh, Did you mention yet? I think I'm. Do you, do you need me to thwart at all? I mean, I think eight's fine. I think we're good. Okay. So attack for two. 
I mean, he's confused too, right? Like, we're not. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. We're doing all right. Do you think I keep the booster boots? See, Mary's proud of me. She says Peter committing acts of teamwork. You know, I'm not. I'm not that guy. I don't feel like I'm that guy. I do feel like I take. No, I think usually you just take the resources because I give them to you. So Correct. it makes you look like. But but see now I'm the one giving, right? Uh, all right. So night nurse. I don't heal, but I get removing stun, which seems good. Yeah, that's him for really good. four. Draw a card. Uh, oh, there's that double good. resource. Although in this situation, not. Oh yeah. I mean, Limitless whatever. Stamina. And then you draw a card to pay for uh, booster. Yeah, boost, right? punch him again for another four. I mean, at this point, do I just punch him again for another four? <laughs> I mean, probably. You don't need the boots. Oh, uh, I'm holding that. I'm holding that. What? You are I'm or home not? payback after of the villain. After are. the villain attacks you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it seems All great. Right. More has one damage. All right, so we're drawing up. Uh, I did keep Crisis Averted. You know what's sad is I built this deck to show off Judoku, and I haven't played it yet. Well, you say that to me like, all the time, though. Most... You're like, oh, you didn't even play that card. I'm like, yeah, but I could have. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, like that's Well, they got like... discarded my mulligan, which makes me sad, because I've played a bunch of games, and it's been really good. Um, But I just haven't drawn it, which is crappy. Okay, so he's attacking... No, he's scheming against me for three? No, he has Confused. Come on. Well, this is for you then, Terrence. All right, uh, first or second? This is the one. All right, ditch it. Goes away. You don't have a weapons runner in front of you. Look at that, Terrence. Instead, you take three extra damage. So, five damage. <laughs> Honestly, who cares about five damage, though? Uh, I'm going to double I, payback I him. So, for eight? Yep. I assume you're okay with that. I mean, what am I going to say? No? You could put Judoku or Energy... See, I almost feel Energy Barrier is better, though, right? Pull it depends on it. how much... Like, th that's why I have, like, the Limitless and other stuff. So, if you can defend if you don't have Defiance. And then you ready. Right. Uh, just because staying up is actually really important. Like, you, you actually do have to manage your health. Oh, of course. All right. Um, so I'm going to take an encounter card. You're going to take an encounter card. I'm going to get attached to a minion and give surge. it a tough status card. Otherwise, this card gains surge. There you go. Oh, hello, Pyro. There you go. After Pyro attacks you, discard the top two cards of your deck. Take one indirect damage, blah, blah, blah. Huh. That's cool. Stun the character. I mean, we're just going to kill him, right? 18 health. I, I I don't really have a lot to do to help you kill him. All right. Um, but I feel like you're attack going. for two. Wait, who's attacking for two? Oh, Gamora. Yeah. Tell me if you need uh, Helicare. Uh, attacking for four. Unless you want me to kill Pyro. I assume you don't. No. We're killing him, dude. Uh, let's put Judoku in. Just so. <laughs> Just so you could say you played it? Well, I I have nine health. It, it can go down pretty quick. If I mean, I, we're if, killing him, right? <laughs> all right, ready up. So, four more? Another four. Yep. I mean, I, I we're killing him, right? Like, I gotta be able to do something. All right, All right. Uh, well, let's futurist before we mention. Oh, there's something. False blast. Just, yeah. just take it and roll just, the dice. Just pray to God. Now, if you flip a wild, that does not count as the resource, right? Nope, it says printed. All right. Um. So then I'll mention to draw one. Then I will Stark Tower to pull out a 
I'm grateful. Um, then I will crew quarters to heal myself. Then I will flip up and we are praying to God here. I don't have a lot of mental in my hand or lightning in my hand, which could be a good thing. So we'll rocket boots to repulsor blast. It doesn't help me to be aerial, right? Although I'm going to be aerial anyway, just cause come on, I'm pew pewing from the air, baby. So Repulsive Blast does one damage plus five cards. Do I even have five? I don't even have five. No. Nope. Oh, but there's but a double. But you have a double energy there. There's, there's, there it is. So one, two, three Six, more. Six, seven. So seven. You did seven. seven and then eight. our heart can do the kill. No. Pew Pew Gauntlets. No, you should you just basic attack. Basic attack, man. Yeah, basic attack for one. Yes. Yeah. Boom. Dead. All right. Boom, boom, boom. All right, Mary, join in, please. Calling all Marys, calling all Marys. If you are still out there, come on in and join the show. We have amazing feats here. We have candy and puppies. I don't I'm know. surprised I didn't. I also <laughs> didn't draw any of my repurposes. Oh, is that you, Mary? I I hear the laughter, but hold on. Nobody else can hear your your laughter. So hold on. Let me uh let me see how quickly I can get this done and get you up and running, which is probably not very quickly. Um, but Terrence, you're gonna have to entertain the crowd while I. By with, the way, I can't with even, Mary's I, laughter. I can't even. I can hear Mary's laughter. I know. But is that just because she's on Mobius? Yeah, yeah. Well, Mobius, Mobius, what are you talking about? Mobius. OBS. Oh, OBS. I thought you said Mobius. I'm like, yeah. what's a Mobius? Oh my gosh. Terrence, I'm a total mess right now. What is going on? That's okay. I also watched the podcast that was on Wednesday, so this is doing much better. Oh my god. We were yeah, I was a mess that night too. What is going on lately? I'm like I'm out of control. I like how Mike asked if you're drinking. And that's the funny like, part. I, I have not been drinking. He was just, I'm, I'm like, wow, he went there, huh? No, no, I think I called out the fact that I wasn't drinking. I actually don't think it was Mike in that situation. I think it was actually me saying, hey, look, I'm not even drinking, and I'm still an idiot. Like, that's, I, I, I went that route. Now, Mary, you're a little blurry. Are you a little blurry? No, you're good. You're good. Do, 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 do. All right, let's transition to Mary, who's been here the whole time. Oh my gosh! Now <laughs> I'm showing us in OBS on the corner here, which is awesome. Let me uh, let me switch to the fantasy flight one. Uh, hope how, how's the retirement life, Mary? Right. Um, that's been pretty good. <laughs> that was that was delayed. Yeah, it's just super uh, sounds super enthusiastic. <laughs> Well, I mean, I do have to get another job, so. There is that. Yeah. Um. Now, Mary, you're coming to uh, Con of Heroes, right? Yes. Um. I think she bought her ticket like when the tickets first were announced. I mean, yeah. she bought her ticket way before me. That is for darn sure. <laughs> so ter there are people still buying tickets, Peter, which is crazy. I bought mine. No, I just mean like it, you know, it's like under a month. Like people are just like, well, uh, maybe I can make this happen. Well, it's like buying and here's the interesting part is that my company wanted me to work a convention. Remember last year I was late because I was working a convention, a uh, different convention, although they're related. And I told them I was on vacation, but I still have to fly straight from minnesota to chicago to work this convention so i am working it i'm just got out of the first couple of days nice uh but good news is i don't have to pay for my flight home so i'm only paying for a one-way flight now to get to the convention my company's paying for my flight from chicago and then for my flight home oh nice yeah so hey you know 
working a couple of days to get free flights doesn't make me, I mean, I'd have to work those days anyway. It's like Monday, Tuesday. I'm not even like, lo- I, I told him I'm staying through Sunday. Like, sorry, I'm yeah. on vacation. Put Putting your foot down. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> For well, our little convention. Honestly, last time I wanted to work, th- I hope nobody from my work is actually watching this video, but like, <laughs> last time i act well the funniest part is like for our podcast one of our most downloaded cities is chicago which is where my headquarters is and i know so many people that work there so like i feel like they might listen to the podcast i feel like watching a hour and a half marvel champion stream is a little extra though i don't i don't feel like so what you're saying is you're, gonna, you're, you're cutting this up and putting it on the pod Oh yeah, absolutely. Just for them to know, like special announcement, Peter is totally skipping out on like work to go to a Marvel Champions convention. I mean, to be fair, you said you're taking vacation, so it doesn't actually matter what you do. Well, right? the funny part is I'm taking vacation, but it's Saturday and Sunday that I was supposed to be working, yeah. which by the way, they don't pay me for. Like it's I'm a salaried employee, so like yeah. Yeah, that's the benefits of being salaried, right? For that. Well, for them, yeah, they would have made me work 2 days like where I wouldn't have gotten paid. Um, yeah, so there's that. So anyway, I told them I was on vacation and they're still paying for my flight to Chicago. So, and my sounds like win-win. Yeah. Yeah. No, it all works out. (laughs) So it sounds like kind of heroes is actually doing you a favor. I mean, settle down, Terrence. (laughs) I could have told him I was on vacation no matter what. Right. Like, I I guess, I guess that's a thing too. Cause everybody's like, to be fair, you didn't do that last year. So, well, last year, I, like I said, that is I, true. I wanted to go to the convention last year though. Like I actually, it was in San Diego last year. Let's start with that. Not Chicago. So let's, let's start there. And then the other part of it is like, there's two conventions. One is like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The other is like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So like I wanted to go to the 30 Thursday, Friday, Saturday one. I did not want to go to the Monday, Tuesday, went or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, whatever. I didn't want to go to the one I'm going to this year. I was voluntold. Let's put it that way. Uh, so th- that's why it's yep. called job. Yep. I mean, they keep paying me, so I keep showing up. Like, there's the thing. When 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 OSCS makes me enough money that I can retire, um, then I'm going to do that, and you'll see me much more often, which is way more reason for people to stop paying for our Patreon and things like that. Cause they don't want to see that. They don't want to see me way more often. <laughs> so like you, you want to do the opposite, honestly. No, actually what I'd probably do, I would do more OSCS stuff, but I'll also do more designing and publishing stuff probably. So um, when I retire, if I retire at some point in the next 20 years, uh, expect more um, games coming out of us. Not more, uh, not necessarily more content from me. Um, uh, Nick asks, Connie Hero is just a Marvel Champions get together? Question mark. Yes, it is. But Terrence, you know more about it than uh, than I do because you were part of the organizing committee. But we all went last year, and uh, so yes, you can listen to last year. We had two podcasts on it: one just on the Marvel Champions stuff, and one on all the other games we played while we were at Con of Heroes. So, yeah. Well, but- they were played not actually at the con no no no, that's not true because i played uh the 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 zord game yeah yeah, but i just mean like a bunch of those games with common well true we're not at well i'm doing that again this year as well so there's that but you're but not on monday right you're leaving no no i'm gonna be gone monday so it'll be uh i think early i'm flying in early although not that early i'm flying in thursday at like two so it's not even like it's that early uh, but yeah, I guess uh, to answer Nick's question, it is, uh, I think we call a fan, uh, Marvel Champions fan event. Fan convention. Um, there's four of us organizing it. Uh, we get together in across the street from FG at Game Center. And it's a full weekend of people playing Marvel Champions. And honestly, we have a bunch of stuff planned. If they have the... Um solo co-op expansion for keyforge i'm gonna buy that too and i'm bringing some keyforge um decks with me as well so terrence and maybe i'll even bring unopened decks so you'll fear experience the joy of opening a deck and just playing it i mean that like whether it's open or not i will not have played it to be fair well so. yeah but i won't have played it either it's all, it's so all, it's all the same like, 
brand new for everybody. I mean, you could probably just buy a deck from them, right? That's maybe like true. That. But I already have like 10 to 20 unopened decks. So there's no reason for me not I think to. That, just... I think that just means you have a problem, Peter. <laughs> well, my son and I love playing. We actually talked about playing a tournament the other day where we play all of our decks. Um, meanwhile, we haven't played not one game because we were playing Sky Tier Hordes earlier. So there is that. But um, I do love that game. Ah, oh, still to this day. Uh, yeah, it's exciting. Uh, I I'm excited for all the the content that. Uh, so unlike you, Peter, all my designs are given away for free. So. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. No. I'm yeah. Not, I, I'm not as charitable as you are, Terrence. Although we uh, did put out a free. Well, it's not out yet, I guess, but it's with the publisher now. He's doing graphic design on it. A free expansion for Dark Dealings which makes it cooperative. So there's that. So we gave out nice. stuff for free. Um, I'm ex yeah, I'm excited for the, the stuff we're bringing. Uh, they'll be made print and play like we did last year after the event ends. Um, and I guess the segue into the actual topic, uh, I think, uh, like I was telling Peter before the show, I think this may puts us halfway in between the last content drop we got from FFG in the next one. Yeah, um, so that's why Mary's on. We are going to talk about the next Marvel Champions expansion. And if you don't the next be, evolution, if you don't want to be spoiled, then you can shut us off now because from now on, we are just talking about next evolution. We're going to go through everything. And I know this is very out of character for me, but I said, you know what? There's nothing else to talk about right now, so let's. Do I mean, there's this. plenty to talk about. No, uh, uh, like at some point, be I'm curious what decks and stuff people are bringing and packing for the con because it's under a month away, so it's actually approaching super fast. Well, we'll do at least one more Marvel Champions um, Friday before the con, but I don't know. Maybe next week we do Lord of the Rings. Maybe I mean it may even be an intro to Lord of the Rings like going through the basics for me again as well um so we'll see terrence maybe put give us some real basic decks to go through the first and maybe even second mission maybe we do both next week because they're pretty short right uh but the, yeah the the intro is like you know it's like rhino level but probably yeah, yeah. so the first two missions i think we can go through pretty quickly and then um the third one i know is a pain in the butt but I feel like we do that one too. And then I keep hearing about these saga things. Maybe we'll do the saga things eventually. <laughs> like like an, an 18, 18 scenario campaign. Oh, is it really that long? I mean, like it depends. Like the Hobbit is three per, it's like each box is three scenarios. So it's two boxes. Oh, that's easy. And so we could do that. The, the Hobbit is not as long, but the, I feel like the, definitely the, the actual Lord of the Rings book uh which is six boxes in total and yeah, we're not doing uh, that. so six times three is like definitely the more epic experience and so, then you add in the two yeah um... but no one likes old forest <laughs> so mary what are your thoughts about like because i haven't gotten any feedback yet except from terrence about us maybe not doing marvel champions every friday but throwing in some lord of the rings throwing in some arkham horror lcg like, what are your thoughts about that? And be honest, be brutal. It's okay. Well, I mean, I'd be for it because I like all of them. So <laughs> okay, yeah. So a little bit different content. We're, we're gonna try to tailor it to the Marvel Champion audience. Like, I feel like all these games are games people that like Marvel Champions will also like, and that's why we're calling it ourselves like the Cooperative Card Gamers. Um. Because it's going to be, again, not just this, but probably some Sky Terror Hordes, some Ashes Reborn, like just a bunch of stuff that we feel like people who like games like Marvel will like. Some of them less investment than others, so they won't all be LCGs um, or games you have to invest like a million dollars in. Like Sky Terror, it's a pretty reasonable buy-in. Um, Ashes... It's. I, I feel like Skyter is actually not that cheap anymore. Well, Skyter is about seventy bucks for everything, to make it like a complete game. A hundred bucks if you want the mat and like 
the box as well. And then, um, because I just looked it up because we just did a review of it versus Ashes. And Ashes has a $70 bundle where you can get the core set and the solo co-op expansion. Um, yeah. So they're both about $70 buy-in. Um, and if you want to hear... Well, Terrence and I talked a lot about both of them last week. And then Mike and I did a Patreon-only video that'll be up pretty soon. Um, but we talk a lot about it in our um, podcast as well, which is free for everybody to listen to. Um, so we don't get into the nitty-gritty details the way we do in the uh, Patreon one. But there's enough discussion. You'll you'll know where we stand. Um, and, I mean, you guys all know where I stand. Terrence and I yelled about this last week. For me, it's Skyter Horde. Uh, and still so after playing both again since even yesterday. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I, I was talking to Mike yesterday after the pod, and I was telling him all the things I disagreed with I mean, on the pod. Not to mention that you got the name of a, the box wrong. It's not Red Reigns? Uh, Red Reigns is the name of the mode. Uh, the name of the bo- like the name of the Chimera and the whole thing is Corpse of Vera. So it's like Red, it's Ashes Reborn red rain so like the entire cycle is called red rain so like all the stuff like the whole versus chimeras called red rains um because the red rains are like the red drops that you're putting on right, him right, for the ultimate or whatever yeah or it yeah the crystals uh but yeah the name of the you know chimera is corpse of Eros. i mean we're we're technically covering all of red rains even though like because i feel like the the stuff we covered most of it is not all right we're we're off on a big tangent here we're supposed to be covering the spoilers <laughs> here so by the way if you already left because you thought we were covering spoilers guess what spoiler alert we didn't um so <laughs> but but we're doing that now we are gonna do it but but like i feel like the five points none of them had to do with just the one villain i feel like it was mostly about gameplay um so Kind of. I mean, it's it's hard to it's hard to judge when the whole cycle isn't out yet, though, right? Sure. It's like judging Marvel champions on like just one box and not everything. I did else, say right? that in our Patreon video, Terrence. You would appreciate that. Um, so, and Terrence, maybe maybe as a as a gentleman and a scholar, since you join me every Friday, I should probably give you free access to our Patreon videos, <laughs> so you can <laughs> yell at me for that as well. It's all good. Uh, all right. Anyway, uh, let's 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 talk about the, the next the next evolution. All right, hold on. So how do I how do I transition this? All right, watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a transition screen up so I know when we actually start talking about something important and aren't just BSing around. And we're back. <laughs> so so Terrence Terrence and Mary Welcome back. had no idea what happened. Because it didn't even happen in... Oh, there you go. Um, so I, I just threw up a quick we'll be right back screen just so I knew when we were transitioning. All right. So let's start talking about, spoiler alert, the new um, announcements from Fantasy Flight. And let's talk about what we think. So the new one is going to be called The Next Evolution. And I'm just starting at the top of the page. I'm going to scroll down. I'm sorry it's just a small quarter, but I feel like our faces are just as important as what we're talking about. So you know what? We're sticking with it. Are you going to read the flavor text? No, you First do First line? Read it, man. I'm the juggernaut. Ain't nothing. Ain't nobody can beat me. That's Kane Marco, who's apparently the juggernaut. Oh, so juggernaut is going to be in this. Yeah, you know, he's he's in the, he's a giant the, the picture, picture on the, in the middle. On the box. How do I zoom in? <laughs> Does anybody know how to zoom in? Uh... Windows, like, plus sign's not going to do it, right? No. No, that's just going to make the text bigger. I think you have to, like, uh, open the image in a new tab or something. And then you can control, scroll yeah, up. No, that wasn't great. Okay, anyway. All right. So, Marvel Champions. So, what we see on the front of the box is Juggernaut. We see somebody in the top right. Is that Mr. Sinister? <laughs> uh, Yes. He is a villain that's been announced. I think he's the fourth villain. Oh, so he's uh, not in the, the final box. One. No, I think believe they said that. 
was it strife yeah strife is the right, last so one. there are two pictures on the front and i am i i know one of them is cable right yeah and domino so is she's the, the one that's super person. lucky right so those are the two heroes all right yep yeah so i've so i guess like uh, before you read the thing what do you how do you think they represent luck well even before that, like, so the only pictures of Domino and um, Cable I have are from the Deadpool movies. Uh, Deadpool 2, I think it was. Was it 2? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they, don't, they, they look nothing like that. So I, I'm assuming this is their comic book. Like, Yeah, this is their comic book thing. Uh, yeah, I'm just curious, like, um, as a designer, uh, seeing that you have not actually read this, uh, you know that her her like superpower is, is luck. luck. Yes. How, how do you think they, they like represent or how would you have represented it? Um, I would either let you draw cards from your discard pile or mulligan in the middle of a turn. Um, and that includes like if a villain draws a bad card, you don't like, like just redraw it. Um, maybe you have to exhaust to redraw it or whatever else, but yeah, no, there'd be definitely redraws. There would definitely be, um, mulliganing or drawing from your discard pile, something like that. Am I, am I even close to on the right, <laughs> right track there? I mean, there's not right or wrong, right? Uh, but yeah, I mean, they, her whole thing, I guess, She's the second one to talk about, but let's talk about her. All right, well, let's, um, scroll, down. let's scroll down and figure it out. Yeah. Mary, uh, so, hold on. You've been quiet. Go ahead. Are you excited for X Factor? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I Both the heroes, I think, look really interesting. I'm more excited about Cable for some reason. I'm not sure exactly why, but he's drawn more of my attention. But I do like what they've done with Domino. Um they basically gave her the wizard's pipe okay. ability on her uh, on her alter ego side. Well, yeah, I don't even know anything about uh, Lord of the Rings, so but we will learn about it. You're gonna learn with me. That's gonna be, I think, part of the cool part about this. Wait, is it is wizard's pipe is on hero side, right? Top card of your deck. Uh, alter ego is discard. Well, no, because alter ego is choose a card in your hand, swap that card with the top card of your discard. Or oh yeah, sorry. So yeah, that's the other one, uh, the hero side. Still, R really, what Mary's trying to say is Caleb just pulls designs from Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. I mean, let's be uh, fair. They if they work and people like them, why wouldn't you copy your own great work? In, in, uh, in I, I thought I thought Boggs was actually on this box or did this box. Um, so then stop blaming Caleb, <laughs> right? I mean, come on, come on, Terrence. Um, now, were you, so were you a big comic book fan? Were you a big had it like? What do you know of X Force? Um, me, I. And you could say I... nothing because that's where I am. Like. No, no judgment. This is a no judgment zone here. <laughs> yeah, uh, my knowledge of X Force is, as far as the comics go, is basically nothing. Um, basically, the only way I know these characters really is from Deadpool, the movies. Gotcha. So from the second Deadpool movie, same as me. Mm hmm. Yeah. By the way, I see somebody else new tonight. All right, so we've had let me let me shout out from top to bottom all the new people I've seen on the stream tonight. So we got Craig, first time I think I've seen them chatting in. The Black Dog, same thing. Um, do 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 do. I guess it's not as many as I I thought, but uh, Brand Games also. So that's three first time chatters in. So long time is it, viewer, is it first time, first time brand? chatter for them. I feel like it. Uh, so wait, BR... now if they aren't, now you just now you just look like a moron. Well, I mean, I always look like a moron. Let's be honest. So B R E I N Games is that Brain, or yeah, I mean, brain? I mean, he has like Doctor Brain avatar, so I assume so. Okay, so first off, how dare you? So this is Brain Brain Games it says first off, how dare you assume we ain't got nothing better to do on a Friday night? I mean, I don't have nothing to do, 
Just saying. Uh, then, then he says, uh, you don't go all Team Covenant on the podcast. Or, wait, that was a question. Wait, what? what is Team Covenant? What? Yeah, I was in a relation where we're talking about ashes and stuff. Um, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Team Sky Terror, for sure, uh, versus, versus Ashes. But, again, listen to our discussion last week. We're not going to rehash the whole thing. All right. So, let's keep going. Uh, now we see some cards. So, I see Domino's card. I see Cable's card. Now, those are the ally cards, right? No, there's the two heroes, I believe. Oh, yeah, yeah, because they get the... Uh, uh... Sad well Peter knows the game. Shut it. So, after Cable defeats a side scheme, ready him. Limit once per turn. He's a 2 2 stat line. So, whatever. Domino's one thwart to attack it looks like and we don't see her defense and if you scroll down you can see her oh, they, they oh okay. all right have... so let's keep going so they spoil all right so they spoil stripes gonna be in here they spoil juggernaut wolf's bane is gonna be a justice ally um let me tell you what i don't know what jack nothing about wolf's bane but it looks like wolf's bane is a werewolf I'm playing nothing but justice from now on on the stream. So just be you know what's cool, for that. like there aren't many of these cards. Uh, I was talking to Americano and Kenny Hawk about this, uh, but I think it's cool when they have the cards that like break the frame template, which they do for Wolfsbane. They do. You're I think right. Miles Morales uh, has his foot sticking out, um, and I, there's a few cards, but it's like pretty rare. So I always, it like it definitely like. Is was that a very Marvel Snap thing? Like, do either you play? Have either of you played Marvel Snap? No. Okay, so Marvel. Uh, S- oh, go ahead, Mary. Sorry. Oh, I did like once or twice, I think. So the big thing for Marvel Snap, as you level up cards, all they do is become more and more like cool looking. Like they get glossy later on, or whatever else. But one of the early things that they unlock is frame break, where they like break the frame. I wonder if, like, it seems too coincidental that, like, this is coming out, like, after Marvel Snap became pretty popular with the frame break. I mean, they did, they did this with Miles, so this is this is not the first instance of it. But this is pretty obvious, right? There's, like, stuff shattering all through the name. It's, it's not, like, a little bit of a frame break. It's pretty substantial. Juggernaut a little bit as well, like, his helmet's going over the top, and I don't know. But yes, this at least that one Wolfsbane card seems to frame break quite a bit. And Luck Be a Lady, we don't know what it is at this point, but um, that's clearly a Domino card. Uh, Phantom X looks pretty dang spiffy as well, but a four cost one thwart card. I mean, he better do something. We we, good. we 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 should we should come we'll come we should come back to Phantom X. Okay. Yes. Um, all right, and Stripe's going to be in this. And then there's a Spear card that looks a little bit like it belongs in Valkyrie pack. So who knows? Maybe it's a Valkyrie upgrade uh, that will make her playable. Keep, keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go down to Suppressing Hope. Uh, so this is just bad guy stuff, right? So we got Gray Crow, Chimera, Harpoon, Riptide, uh, Arclight vertigo and uh blockbuster i mean i know blockbuster the tv show and the uh the the video store but all these have a or b on them so are these a villain is this another multi-villain scenario yes okay so uh the first one the first one is a multi-villain scenario the first scenario is multi-villain yes Oh my, yeah, they have low stats. You, they, so I see here is uh, two scheme, zero attack. Uh, zero scheme, two attack. One, one, two, two, one, one. So they're all pretty low. I mean, yeah, I, I think one of the really neat things about this time around is if you just open up one of the cards uh, for any of them, uh, you'll notice that there's two bullets. So you get to choose which effect when they activate it. Oh, so stunning. And so there's that, that fun player choice now of so, like, yeah, Vertigo can stun a character you control or gets plus two for the attack, which attacks yeah. that of zero. So like there's that. <laughs> um, 
Interesting. Look, look, look at Grey Crow though. I feel like he'll be your favorite one. Two two, and you can't even see what's going on though. No, uh, if you click on, if like in the paragraph below, they have a link for Grey Crow. If you click on that. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, that first discard card, the upward. highest cost card you control, or Grey Crow gets plus X attack for this attack, where X is the printed cost of the highest cost card you control. I mean, it's only bad against characters with a lot of cards in play. Yeah, I mean, I guess don't. You know don't where play they mansion. learned that from? <laughs> kind of heroes last year. Like, screw you. Good cards you might have put in play earlier. Like, we're just going to. Right? Like, that kind of heroes did that, didn't it? With the. Uh... Yep. That was in the new standard. Yeah, Terrence hated uh... that. Uh, that's because it was terrible. <laughs> that's because uh... it was terrible. And Grey Crow. Uh, yeah, that's why I was like, Grey Crow. Like, Mary says, this is awful. <laughs> um, so why does Mary say yeah, it's so, awful? Let's hear from, let's hear from Mary herself. Yeah. Well, okay. So my least favorite card in, in the standard set is not actually Shadows of the Past and not even Advanced. It's, oh, what is the name of it? The one that makes you discard and upgrade. Or support. Oh. Or support, yeah. I hate that card because for some odd reason, every time I play, I draw that card and it usually takes away one of my like really good upgrades or supports because it's the only one I have out. Turn um, one is the worst. Or turn two, like right after you just started building. And it's like, yeah. oh, I start on turn zero again. <laughs> and not only do I start on turn zero, but like... It's I, your one of in your yeah, deck. Yeah, it's the one of in my deck, so now yeah. it's in my discard pile. Great. Thanks for that. Yeah. So this is just like that on steroids. On well, every activation yeah. where he activates against you? Well, yes and no. It's not on steroids. Well, first of all, how much life does Grey Crow have? Let's... let's... When Grey Crow, Crow attacks, right? Oh, Grey Crow's a villain... With nine yes. health per player. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, oh, you just get rid of Grey Crow, but no. Well, I assume yeah. I assume it's the kind of thing where there's gonna be a counter that passes between them and like only one at a time is gonna be activating. So he's probably only gonna activate against one person and then go away, right? Like until it gets back to him. Yeah. But I can just guarantee that even if I'm playing with other people, like it it's coming up against With my you. luck, that, that's coming. Yeah, that's coming to me. <laughs> I mean, you could just be a you could just be a defense player and make it always come to you. That that is true. Well, and give them a plus uh, attack at that point. Screw it, you're fine. Um. Yeah. I mean, so so this they haven't described exactly how the mechanic will work, but in the scenario it says you have to defeat three random marauders. So each of these are marauders, and oh, so maybe it'll be one at a time, the way they've done with uh, some other ones. Yeah, so like if you, if you look at that spread, right? Like there are seven marauders in total, and uh, what you know, who knows how it's gonna work? Like maybe it's like mansion attack, maybe it's like more like sinister six. Like nah, I don't, I don't know. If it was like sinister six, they would come up with a more clever way to beat it than defeat three, right? Sinister Six was clever because of the fact that they can keep coming back at you. Um, in in my thoughts, anyway. So I feel like it's going to be like defeat three, and it's scenario one. So unless they're following their um mutant genesis, let's make scenario one the most complicated scenario ever. Um, as a scenario one, usually the scenario ones are pretty straightforward. So I would assume it's beat three randomly draw one at the beginning and go from there oh so if you look at the routed card it kind of gives you an idea of what it'll be like because it's forced responses after the villain is defeated put it under here discard each minion that shares a title with the top villain of the villain deck that villain is in play and then the villain yeah, activates so it's, it's more like mansion attack then yep so it's gonna be one at a time 
Yeah. I mean, it seems like they've figured this out, right? Like, the only one that's truly not great is uh, Wrecking Crew. All these other multi-villain scenarios have been pretty fun. And even Wrecking Crew is not bad. It's just you can't do anything to change it. Like, that's the worst part about it. It looks like this will be Mansion Tack mixed with Sabretooth, though, um, because you'll have to... Um, you have to basically keep the Morlock allies safe. So it's like keeping the Senator safe. Oh, seriously. And so, and, and so like one, multi-villain and a keep somebody. Well, safe. I mean, they don't, one. I don't think they heal necessarily like Sabretooth, but it's, um, it says like, you, like the Morlock that they have image that they have. It's, uh, when an enemy attacks you, it attacks the Morlock you control instead. Where do you see Morlock? Where do you see it's in the second paragraph underneath that spread. Oh my gosh. Like, you guys actually click on these paragraphs? Like that's... All right. So Morlock's a 1-1 ally with 5 health, minus 1 victory, does not count against your ally limit, card abilities, cannot remove this ally from play, force interrupt when an enemy attacks you, it attacks Morlock you control instead. And clearly, you're going to control one Morlock. Uh, well, maybe not clearly. Maybe you can get like little chumper morlocks yeah i mean who, who knows scenario. who knows how it's gonna work um but yeah. obviously there's probably like a limit of the number of morlocks you can lose but it you know, gives you a sense of it seem as complicated but i don't, I don't as... think it's like i don't think it'll be bad it's just i think it i think just like matching mechanics that we know it seems like right it is a bit of that center protection where maybe you do want to bring some protection so you can defend a, like take the attack instead right yeah. Um, so you want to have some defense there. We have another card called Hope's Captor that we can see that they're featuring. Uh, when the villain would attack you, if the Marauder minion is engaged with you, the villain schemes instead. Force interrupt when the villain would be defeated, uh, reset attached villain's hit points to its printed hit point value instead. Flip this card and reveal it. Huh. So this on the run card, maybe it's forced to start in play. So you might even have to defeat four villains, right? And maybe this like gives you an ally or something when you defeat the villain. Yeah. So time. I guess story wise for context, um, uh, Hope Summer, who is the daughter or adopt daughter of Cable, who's Nathan Summers. Yep. Is kind of the is like the theme of kind of the box. So uh, basically she centers at the, the box and the villains basically have some plan on capturing her. Um, and so I think she's going to be throughout kind of a bunch of the scenarios. Do you want me to spoil something? What? Oh, no, it's different. So I was going to say Hope's Captor is 3 of 11. But when you click on Morlock, I was like, maybe she turns into Morlock. But that's three of 19. They're both three, though, interestingly enough. Um, I was like, oh. Yeah, I, I, we... I, assume that, I assume these cap, like, on the run might be a mod, might be a, like, campaign thing, potentially. It's got to be a campaign modular. I can't imagine. It could, first of all, 11 card modular is a lot. But the other thing is, it feels like this is, like, very related to the campaign. It's weird, though. They keep upping the complexity of the first scenario of a campaign. And if you talk to a lot of people, they love the first scenarios for their simplicity. So it's interesting to me that they keep upping the difficulty or complexity for these first scenarios. I mean, we'll see how complex it is. It might not be too bad, actually. One of my, fr one of my favorite villains is still... Um, the first Rhino? one, which one? Rhino, the simplest one. No, no, no. The first one from um, Ebony Maw. Ebony Maw. I love that spell mechanic. Like, I love seeing what's coming. You might not know when it's coming, but I love, I love the the dread it creates. With I think I mostly just hate time counters. Well, but I love the simplicity of it, while still creating dread. Like, as you're looking at that. I think I just dislike the bookkeeping. 
more than anything. Yeah, it's not that bad, though. I'll be honest, the bookkeeping in uh, Ashes bothers me more. Like, Mike and I were talking about it off-air yesterday. Like, how many times do you forget to, like, block, roll that block dice for, like, when you're trying to kill a minion or whatever? Like, I forget it 99% of the time, I feel like. I, I've seen Team Covenant forget, so now I know. It's, like, burned into my brain. It's not burned into my brain. I forget all the time. It's, like, such an annoying mechanic. Like, I don't know. Anyway, we, 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 we won't get uh, into that. Brombe says on the run is the second scenario, actually. Oh, okay. The name Good. of the second scenario. Good. One of my favorite second scenarios, do you know, Terrence? And maybe and one that's... of my favorite scenarios of all time, actually, at this point. Do either Claw? you know? Nope. Not Claw. Collector? Into the museum? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I actually do like Collector way more than Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that's a joke, man. I know you like it. Uh, you, you're no. just like, man, it's pretty cool well, how they force you to deck build different. But it's one of my favorite second scenarios, or one of my Tower favorite defense? scenario scenarios of all time. Tower defense is okay, but no, from the latest box. I love that second scenario where you're going out and getting the Sentinels. Remember, I, I love getting all those allies. Like, gimme, give gimme, give gimme give allies. Every time I thwart something away, I get an ally. Every time I, you know, you get Jubilee or you get one of the other allies. Like, I just, I love that. I love the, you know, slot, whatever slot machine. Like, I mean, at that point, don't, do you love Taskmaster who did it first? No, because Taskmaster wasn't reliable. Whereas this one, a bunch start in play, so you're going to get some allies. I, I understand it's a repeat of Taskmaster, but I didn't care about it in Taskmaster because it didn't feel as relevant. It feels like it's more relevant in that scenario because you start with like three ways to get allies in play. The allies are much better in Taskmaster, though. Are they... Then Magneto and Jubilee? Really? You think? Yeah, they're like zero cost mm -hmm. allies that don't well, go on the victory display. Sure. And they have like three stats and they have enter play effects. Yes. And yeah. so like especially if you're running leadership, you can totally abuse make the call. <laughs> I will pay that zero cost printed cost. To well, play yeah, they get yes I yes, yes I will. Well forget make the call. I'd rather do the one that brings a side scheme into play. The the uh the uh justice one justice served yeah and since oh I'm no uh i know what you're talking about um it's justice serves the one that readies you I yeah think. the one that draws you two cards or three cards and and brings a side scheme into play yeah give me that all day in that scenario oh, what is that card i can what see card? it the the one that you're talking about The zero cost pull a side scheme to draw three cards. Yeah. Well, anyway, we all know that when Wolf's Bane comes out, Justice is my new all I'm going to play. Oh, wait a minute. Wolf's Bane, Justice, Black Widow, game on time. Like, <laughs> sorry. I, sorry for everyone who plays with me going forward. It's just going to be Justice, Black Widow. You um, mean one way or another? With, I think with Wolf's is, Bane. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. And one way or another, screw it. Let's do it all day, every day. Uh, just bring out those side schemes. I'm right with it. Uh, all right, so <laughs> let's keep scrolling down to more pictures. I'm not reading text or clicking on uh, things unless you tell me to. So we got Juggernaut next, and we got Hope Summers, who is a psionic X-Force X-Men. Set up the first player controls, Hope Summers. Hope Summers does not count against your ally limit. Hope Summers uh, base thwart and attack are equal to the thwart and attack of your hero. So is she similar to um, Raven, where she like takes your powers by touching you? I don't. I don't think so. She you mean a Rogue? Psionic. Rogue. Rogue. Rogue, which is Raven as well, right? Am I? No, no, no. I Ra thought Raven's Mystique's name. Raven's but... Mystique. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, so, like, Rogue? I don't think so. Um, uh, Hope Summers 
I think is like very much a, oh, I guess she can, she can psychically manipulate and make the powers of other mutants, but she doesn't yeah. like steal them. Well, neither does rogue, right? She's, she, she, uses, she temporarily she also weakens them. them. Oh, okay. Well, this is hope. She Summer's like absorbs one. their life force. Basically. This is hope. Summer's one of two, by the way. If you didn't yep. notice that, so there's going to be another I, one. I, but but speaking of Rogue, I think she's going to be fantastic for Rogue because it'll be great to actually steal like Psionic, a a very reliable way, right? Yeah. So she'll mimic Hope Summers is mimicking of your mech. All right, you just broke the fourth wall, Terrence, and you broke all the walls. Like my, you broke my brain walls. Uh, do we want to talk about Juggernaut or do we want to scroll down some more? Uh, I don't know how his um his those momentum counters are gonna work, but I assume he's gonna get really high attack. When revealed, place a momentum counter here. Give Juggernaut a tough status card, and then plus yeah, one. Yeah, I assume he's gonna have momentum. a bunch of cards that give so him. So he's that, a right? three one on his villain one, which we won't no. even see if we're playing expert, right? So he's better than a three one, and just will get more and more ridiculous yeah this might be a one scheme scenario so it looks like every time uh you complete the scheme uh you you uh basically place a counter a momentum counter on him and then he attacks every player even if they're an alter ego wait what ow so every time the main scheme gets completed uh, there's some juggernaut exposed thing that I don't know what it does, but then he gets a, a counter and then attacks every player, regar- regardless of the f- side they're on. By the way, Brombe, I'm going to shout them out. They they did say one way or another for that um, card that pulls out the side schemes. Um, and that's another new chatter that I have never seen before. So that's four tonight, Terrence. I'm counting them up. Counting them up. Oh, this is nice. Uh, so Juggernaut Exposed is an attachment. It's a permanent. Uh, Juggernaut takes one additional damage from each card with a printed mental resource. And oh, okay, force response. After Juggernaut schemes, place one momentum counter on Juggernaut and then uh, flip that card. Or flip uh, flip Juggernaut Exposed. So I wonder if that starts on him. Yeah, I think it's probably like a permanent because it talks about flipping. It well, it does say permanent. Yeah, it's most it's permanent, it's permanent yeah. Um, But, you know, it'll be interesting because now potentially you want to trigger the main scheme. You want to pop to flip that card. Well, it depends what's on the other side, right? It could be worse. Oh, no, I guess it, it flips it from exposed into helmet size. So you never actually want to pop. Never mind. Yeah, no, the exact opposite. It's going to be like uh, Collector 1. You just... You don't want to do certain things because it leads to worse outcomes. So it makes you play different. I like scenarios that make you play different. That's why I don't mind Collector 1. Like, I love the concept of making you play differently than you normally would. Um, so I do like scenarios like Collector 1. It's not my favorite, but I know for a lot of people, it's like their least favorite. I'll tell you what my least favorite is. Risky business. Get the hell out of here with that bull crap. Right, that scenario that's like just broken. Um, I I heard um, no I heard no heck is so I'm assuming nobody agrees with me. But uh, I I I I think it's not hard to errata a risky business to make it actually a more fun scenario. Yeah, but as is, it's garbage. Um, not wrecking crew garbage, but it's garbage. <laughs> Um, all right, so a sinister plot. You said he's the fourth villain? Yep. Um, he's the fourth villain. Uh, he He's like thematically known for gene therapy stuff, uh, like basing incorporating mutant DNA um, into things. Uh, so I believe from what I remember in the, the paragraph was that basically over the course of the game, he's going to power up and get different traits. Well, uh, yeah, it sounds like after a status card is placed on Mr. Mr. Sinister, place a threat on the main scheme. It sounds like he's going to get a lot of, like, he, and he, he needs to because, you know, for the fourth villain, two scheme, one attack. 
So I like the fact that the, he's going to level up with you, it seems like, as he gets Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a way to remove the attachments, but if you click on the last that last sentence of that paragraph, genetic mastery, and you can see uh, the fun that's going to happen. One revealed, if Mr. Sinister has the following traits, Ariel, take two indirect damage, Brute, exhaust your identity, Psionic, place two threat on the main scheme. So he's going to yeah. get traits also. Yeah, he feels like the the uh, villain rogue to some degree. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Her. Yeah. Um, so I think this will be it'll be it'll be fun scenario. I think. So going back to Juggernaut, you think Juggernaut's one or three then? Juggernaut's three. So the the Marauders are one and two. Oh. So there was on the run, like the um, Bami was saying. Okay. And then uh, the first one we were talking about was the one where the multi villain scenario. Okay. Siege. Morlock Siege. Yep. Got it. So then we see Strife, who. Um, yeah. One of two. Yeah, so I think this will be interesting. One of 21, I think. Uh, oh, one of 21. Uh, his whole thing is I think he. Um, so who's he? Then? turns. He, he turns basically your hero strength against you, um, which is so the ma- so mechanically they represent that by when he attacks gets plus X, where X is the number of cards of the most common type in your hand. So for like like if you're today if you're building Iron Man just at, or Iron Man with like Repulsor Blast in mind with all those energy cards, this guy would hit like a truck, right? Well, what do they mean cards of the most common type? Is that energy type or is that um, oh most common type that might just i think that just might be allies actually allies upgrades yeah allies allies, events yeah Yeah. support yeah so like it'd be bad for like like uh miss marvel who has lots of events event card yeah yeah Yeah. or drax just gotta keep drax down or black widow with all of her hey shut it black widow is amazing (laughs) well i mean yes she is but with all of her upgrades (laughs) <laughs> no, I know. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um. So he's gonna be. He's not the villain. I just realized he is just a card in the villain deck. Yes. No, he no. is the villain. It he's says villain, villain in yeah. the top left. So which villain is he then? The fifth. He's the last one. Oh, so Strife is after. They really spoil a lot here, huh? Like, all right. So he's the fifth one. So we know all five then. Yeah, they, they've definitely done that before. Um, I guess you don't read these, so. I, no, never. Um, all right, so we know all five. The first two are going to be like combo heroes or combo villains. I, I, I think only the first scenario is a multi-villain. The second one is not. Um, so we don't know the second one then. It is Marauders. It's uh, But... Uh, but only one Marauder serves as the villain in the second yeah. one. Versus is it going like to be random, or how's that going to work? Uh, we'll find out. All right, the and, then, and out. then Juggernaut, and then Sinister, and then Strife. Yep. Okay. All right, so let's talk about the heroes now. So Nathan Summers, who is Cable, uh, for yep. recovery, 222 stat line, you may include the player side schemes from any aspect in your deck. What is a player side scheme? So that's a new card type uh, that they've added. Uh, you can see the Technovirus Purge below. That is an example of a player side scheme. So they're basically side schemes you can put out that come in your deck uh, that you can put into play. So it's like a scheme that you know, you're going to thwart against <laughs> to kind of clear. So characters other than Cable cannot remove uh, threat from it when that's in the victory display nathan summers and cable gain psionic trait and cable gets plus one of each stat huh that's yeah. interesting so you put it out it's almost like a quest for yourself where you yeah it's, a, it's basically it's basically like a, a, a personal quest yeah, thing yeah, so you've got to scheme through it yourself because nobody else can help you with it. Well, I think that's specific to this particular one. The other ones are not like that. 
and it says can't remove threat so you couldn't even like like iron man we just saw removes one threat from each scheme that wouldn't even yep. remove it from it interesting so may include player side schemes of any aspect in your deck that's really interesting i like the concept of side schemes it makes justice way better i feel like because like what would a aggression side scheme look like you know what i mean because uh, defeat know. defeat minions uh so if you click <laughs> if you go to the paragraph below techno um purge there's a bunch of links uh okay so there's one uh, call for uh, backup Call for backups, a leadership one. And establish uh, when perimeters. Defeated, the so again, them. this is threat though. Each player. Yeah, they're all, they're all they're all going to be side schemes. So you have to like thwart through. So them. this reminds me. So speaking of, because again, we're talking to all audience, not just Marvel champions here. It kind of reminds me of the um, locations you have to go to in Lord of the Rings, and like scheme past them. You know what I mean. I mean, not exactly, well, of course. Um, but I mean, I guess to to add context from Lord of the Rings, there is player side quests in Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, this is not a new new mechanic that they're pulling through. Uh, well, it's, it's new to Marvel Champions, though, and it feels like that, like, I'm going on a quest to get better, right? Cause yeah, well, they're... they're they're called actually side player quests, side quests in Lord of the Rings because it's the quest card. Right. Um, so I think one of the things that's actually interesting about uh, this one is that it is actually very hard to complete quests in Lord of the Rings because, you know, it costs you that round, right? You can only pick one quest to go to. Yep. And so quests or player side quests, I think, are somewhat punishing um, in the sense that. You know, everyone's threat goes up. You got to go through a whole turn if you choose to do this really amazing thing uh, that's going to benefit everyone. Um, but you like as a group, you got to like make the choice to go to that instead of doing the main thing. And I think <coughs> player right. side schemes are equally as strong without that same cost, if that makes sense. Because yeah. side schemes are not like side schemes just aren't that hard to get rid of if you well, but they're it, right. There aren't many, but there are scenarios where the villain is like based on how many side schemes are in play, or there's a card that gives plus four threat to each side scheme, right? So, so there are ways to make it worse. Now, there's also player ways to make it better, too, right? Like the one card where you remove threat equal to number of players from each side scheme in play. So, yeah, even though. Odds and, and problem solving start to look really good. You have Overwatch. I, yeah. th there's just so many tools to like deal with multiple side schemes. Well, my new favorite aspect, Justice, because of Wolfsbane. So, yeah, yeah. We're, we're... Uh, I mean, and and like uh, Skilled Investigator works off of this because it's still a side scheme. Um, Jessica Jones. Yep, Jessica Jones. Oh man, yeah, Justice player. Um, I'm I'm a new Justice player. Uh, can we, like, funnily enough, Cable is not pre-con justice. He's pre-con leadership. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, well, I think because, sense. yeah, he's like a leader. So thematically, thematically it makes sense it makes to do sense. it that way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think, I think just between seeing the three cards of his alter ego, his hero side and techno virus purge, um, he is considered very OP, like without seeing any other cards. Well, maybe he's not. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. For I mean, there's just no other hero with a three 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 stat line, right? Yeah, I mean, and he can get it pretty easily just by thwarting five. It's like, yeah, like, like, yeah. I mean, and he if can you have any kind of thwarting. turn one. Exactly. You can, you literally like, you have to have a really good reason not to have that be the card, and it costs zero to play. So you search for this card turn one for free, put it into play. Yep. You've yep. got a two thwart, and if you have any justice, like any. Well, it's not, yeah, not even justice. Like, you could, you could dump an ally into play, right? Like, turn one or two, like, by turn two, you get that thing online pretty easily. And you become psionic at that point as well. Which is 
as we know, kind of like Matt Mage, like super powerful uh, keyword. Yeah, there isn't that much stuff built around Psionic yet, but I imagine just well, seeing all the Psionic stuff allies. happening, like just seeing all the um, all the Psionic in this box, uh, especially with Hope Summer and other stuff, like I think we're going to see a lot more, we're well, not a lot more, but we're going to see more Psionic cards in this cycle. All right, well, let's scroll down to some new leadership cards that are coming. Uh, so you got Caliban, after Caliban enters play, Discard cards from the top of your deck until you get an X Factor, X Force, or X Men ally is discarded. Add it to your hand. So they're already telling us not only is X Force coming, X Factor is on the way as well. Yep. Uh, I mean, we already have an X Factor. I was about uh, to say, I multi- thought, yeah, I thought we had that. From Multiple Man and uh, that other protection ally. Oh, uh, it's. Ah, I can see. I can see it's. I can see the card. Ah. Um. Yeah, I, I guess uh, coming back to the table really quickly, one of the other things from his cards too is like he's going to want to have a bunch of cards in the victory display. So his other mechanic is having things in the victory display um, because like his attack card gets basically plus one for each card in the victory display. So he's going to get even stronger over the course of the game. Well, and plus one, plus one, plus one for this. Being well, like, yeah, not, not even that, well. just like any card in there. Like he has a lot of cards that are based off of like how many cards are in that victory display. I guess the only thing that slows him down is playing against a villain that has a strong turn one, right? Cause then he probably can't focus on his personal one. Oh, it's got to be side schemes that are in the victory display, not just any card. Sure. Um, and the other benefit is they're all victory cards, these side schemes, so they are also thinning mm-hmm. your deck. And he's also got a card that will allow you to add just like a regular villain side scheme to the victory display. Oh. It's Get that rid of forced... some of those annoying ones like Madame Hydra crap forever. Yeah, so it's that forced amnesia. Yeah, just sh- just shut down Red Skull. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Uh, I mean, this just continues the trend, though, right? It continues the trend of X Men being a next evolution of Marvel Champions, right? Where everything the next stronger. evolution. Nice. I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, um. I mean, do you feel like they did that with? lord of the rings too did like the power level just go up as the game went on yeah but the scenarios also got harder too well right well i feel like um, they, they jumped the shark with that like with the first expansion or second expansion uh <laughs> like they already jumped the difficulty shark like now now those scenario now it probably wouldn't be as difficult um yeah, you just have more options. Uh, I, I think in Lord of the Rings, it definitely got... You got uh, more cards, uh, which always helps flesh out the pool. Um, sure. And then it's hard to say, like, if some of them are, like, super over... Like, there's definitely, like, stronger cards, right? Like, I think if you got, like, a um, Gandalf hero and he wasn't strong, you'd be really disappointed, right? Sure. Uh, so uh, there definitely was that part of it. But I think also they just fleshed out like Caleb did a really good job um, of fleshing out just the archetypes a lot more. So like what it meant to be Sylvan or Noldor or Dwarf. Um, uh, actually, I think Dwarf got uh, more interesting, but not necessarily stronger um, because the well, Dane Ironfoot thing super with strong when they came out. Um, the Dane Ironfoot thing, they, they like had a reason to not run that, uh, which I thought was really cool. So there was like a sure. spirit version of Dane that is interesting and strong but not like broken like leadership dane right so um they they kind of got a whole dwarf thing away from the ally swarm and more into like milling your deck and discard pile stuff uh which makes sense for dwarves that are digging right so they kind of captured the digging mechanic um so i think they just gave you more options and it was like probably slightly stronger but the fact that you just had more options on the table uh helped a lot uh but some of this stuff like i think cable's like dr strange level strong right now well off of these three cards right 
you're assuming because well, you can get this well they, they have links to the other stuff but even when just through these three cards i think he is doctor level strange strong doctor level strange strong yep uh so mary is like that why for you're interested in him you want to be uh, op333 on turn one no i just think he looks like a lot of fun to play I mean, I love the concept of these side schemes. But I almost feel like he's going to be thwarting the whole time. Like, that's the thing. 3-3 three, three, three stat line's good for diversity and, like, lets you pick what you want to do. But if he's literally going to have to thwart every turn just to get these cards to make him stronger, maybe it's not as powerful as we think, right? If he has no way to ready himself, you know what I mean? But... But, like, the thing is, each of these side schemes aren't just clearing them. They do something, right? Like, you get mm -hmm. a plus one, plus one, plus one for clearing Technovirus Purge. If you get, if you play Call for Backup, every player gets to search for a, an ally in their deck and discard and put it into play, right? Like, But like, how? What, if, but, it, but what's, if, at what if, cost? At the cost of not thwarting it, the main scheme, at the cost of not thwarting side schemes, you know, enemy side schemes at the cost of not attacking main. You know what I mean? You're not using that three attack. You're not using that three defense because you have to. Sure, but I mean, if you're if you're running leadership, you can you can uh, play the leadership event that just does damage based on your stat line. Three three cost card that does nine damage. I play that. Wait, nine damage? What? It, you add up all your stats. It's three, three, three. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it, like I don't care if I'm exhausted. I just play that card. Boom. Yeah. Nine yeah, damage I mean, off the bat. I mean, and also, but, but 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 Wolverine can do that too, right? For a little cost of health. But Mary, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Go ahead. Oh well, I mean, with these side schemes, they don't have any negatives necessarily right. for just keeping them in play yeah. and so they can just kind of sit there while you concentrate on like the other the bad side schemes and, and the main scheme but i mean there have been a ton of times where i've been playing like either by myself or with other people and like i've been playing um justice and i have nothing to thwart right yes it and, gives you something to do absolutely yeah so it can just like you can get it out there and not have to worry about it actually really affecting anything unless obviously you're playing a villain where that matters like red school sure but yeah for the most part like for most of the villains having these extra these player side schemes they're just going to be sitting there until well, you're... It, it takes cards out of your hand too, though, right? Like, yeah, it, but it also I mean, takes it out of your deck forever. Yeah, sure. that's There's true. that too. Yeah, for people um, like Terrence who love culling their deck. Uh, I was also wrong. Go all out is only a two cost card, so it's it's oh, two yeah. for nine, two which for is nine fantastic. Is, yeah, that is way better. Um, uh, all right, and you can run three of them in your deck. Yeah. Well, I don't want to get stuck on this, but yes. No, I mean, clearly, it's really good. Um, yeah. But I mean, yeah, especially in, like, I, I think, like, you would, if all you did that turn was even just clear that side scheme, getting every player on the table in ally is really strong, too, right? It's like, and it's any ally in your deck and discard, nine. right, for the leadership one? Well, it's nine for a three-player game. It's six for a two-player game. I mean, like, it's not zero it might take your whole turn to do that to get that ally for each player you know i, I don't know and but it's, it's it's every player getting like really their best or strongest ally right you can put a four cost ally in well the or a thing five i like ally, about right? it though yeah. the thing i like about it is would you ever put those allies in your deck otherwise because i don't never you know what i mean I mean, isn't Star Lord's ally like five costs? Five costs. Does that have a choice? Yeah. His signature. Well, yeah, but yep. I, you know, I, I never play it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't play those high cost allies. Like, 
I definitely play them. I mean, you, you put like Yondu's Fury, four. Fury, I, I play him. Well, Fury and Yondu yeah. are the only two I play that are high cost. Um, but I think you tend to build more for kind of an ally swarm type thing. I do. You just want to get you just want to get the cheapest allies out you can. But yes, I mean honestly, like, uh, when when I look at a aspect, I literally only look at two cost and below allies. And then I expand my search after that. Like if I don't already have enough allies. Well, you know, P Peter just likes them for chomping. I mean, that is a hundred percent true. Cause I don't want to defend myself. I want to do fun stuff, uh, not defend, but, but there's a ton of cool stuff now too. Cause like it, it will, you know, it, it can trigger a bunch of enter play effects too. Like imagine if your leadership, you clear this thing and then you just pop regroup down. So everyone can jump with that ally. It can go back into their hand if they wanted or sure. whatever, right? Go like, for champions. It's just really easy to start <laughs> comboing and getting tons All right, of value everybody. Out of that. Um, I'm going to pause real quick and go to the restroom, but you guys keep talking. Uh, and I have it on Caliban and mission cool. planning. If like you have nothing else to talk about, start talking about those. And I will be right back. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I... I I wonder if the player side schemes are going to make the game much harder because they have to balance for it or if they're not, if they're going to be actually super balanced because I do think Lord of the Rings, it was expensive to do and it doesn't feel mm -hmm. expensive here. Yeah, th this to me, just looking at it um, from what they've revealed, it's going to be a lot easier to build your deck around adding these player side schemes in yeah um i mean call for backup just seems stupid yet yeah i would i would easily pay three thort when my base thort is like three yeah you know <laughs> uh and then everyone can also help right mm -hmm. um uh i mean you could do this search for marina hill everyone draws a card and gets a free ally yeah like, how good is that well, and then you've got established perimeter, which will be great for Colossus. I mean, that's that's good for everybody, but especially for Colossus. Um, or Drax, even. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm curious what they're gonna. How many of these they're gonna have? They're probably gonna have one in each aspect, and then probably like preparations. We aren't gonna see them for a bit, and they'll probably add a handful more afterwards. I think in Lord of the Rings, there was only like ten in total. Uh, yeah, of that yeah game. there weren't very many. Um, but you kind of didn't need a lot because there were so many of them. Or not so many. They were so strong, right? Like, mm -hmm. I don't think you needed a ton of them. Uh, so do you think he's better than Thurndir from Lord of the Rings? Um, uh, he's the one where you got to draw out a a side quest right yep and then he got like plus one thwart for every side quest in the victory display or something right um i th think so just just simply by virtue of the fact that dealing with side schemes is so much easier in marvel champions than dealing with side quests in lord of the rings um Because, again, with, with Lord of the Rings, you have to have... Everybody has to agree that you're going to focus on that. Well, actually, only the first player has to agree. Or, well, yeah. But if the first player doesn't want to do that, and I don't know, in all the games that I've played, we usually tried to come to some sort of a consensus. And most of the time, we didn't feel like the effect from this the side quest was worth... Um, not going after the the main quest. You didn't want to double back or gather information. <laughs> Why well, was like still that... talking about these side quests? Come on. <laughs> well, I like gather information, um, but yeah, I think like with the group that I played with, everybody mostly just wanted to get through the main scheme. <laughs> I mean, come on, gotcha. you don't want games to go six hours, right? Like, let's be honest here. 
Oh, they they often did go six hours. <laughs> six, what? <laughs> I have not played a six hour Lord of the Rings game. All right, game. so why are we and adding played Lord many of the Rings four channel? What, what what just happened while I was gone? You just talked me out of playing Lord of the Rings again. You were gone. You you can't you can't moderate I'm this. I'm moderating while you're gone. it now. Yeah. All right, let's it's move on. Fun. Let's talk about these leaderships <laughs> cards. Caliban and mission planning. Um, we're almost to the bottom here. Like it's been an hour and we haven't even gotten through like it's ridiculous, like three quarters of the thing. All right, so Caliban, X Force, uh, two one three health response after Caliban enters play, discard cards from the top of your deck until you get. We already talked about this. Yeah, I don't know why you're talking about it. You literally made me go backwards. <laughs> like I feel like I feel like I feel like I'm in a time warp. Let's do the time warp again. <laughs> All right, mission planning. Let's talk about that. Play only if there's a side scheme in the victory display. Oh, that's kind of neat. Uh, hero action until the end of the phase. Allies you control do not take conse- uh Oh, just consequential damage. I was about to say that is like go for champions again, like but on steroids. But no, it's just consequential. <laughs> but interestingly enough for me, this makes some of those allies that take two consequential damage better, right? Yeah, I don't know how many of those are in leadership uh but obviously like if you're scott summers um cyclops you could use this with a side scheme to then have any of the x-men allies or you can make the call or if you're first player pull. you can play this to let everybody not have to deal with it with their high costs now that you can play and uh High cost. Well, I assume it says two consequential damage, like dumb dumb it, well, it's, it's 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 you control, right? So it has to be. Yeah. It's uh, not like around the table. It's like only you. That that's why ooh, I was saying like, because like you know like Bishop, I think is a really good call, right? He he has that like mm-hmm. two two consequential for his attack or whatever. Um, dumb dumb Dugan's another good one. You could definitely like imagine a shield thing with. Uh, yeah, of course. With call for backup and mission planning, right? Like pull out Dum Dum Dugan for free, run mission planning, just smack everyone around in the late game. Um, and like Mary said, like you could, whenever you draw that, you put that down, and then you don't have to clear it until you want that ally, right? Get it down to one or whatever, and then it's like within one action clearable for you. Um, so that means some really. I, I think what's fun it's opening some pretty pretty fun combos um, there. And then Uncanny X Force is the other leadership card. I think that's fun to look at because it's the team card for X Force. So in that paragraph below, there's that Uncanny yeah. X Force. Although um, I, I got to be honest, I scrolled down, and now we need to talk about Domino before we go. Like, yeah, no, I'm I'm done with the. I mean, we got to talk about Deadpool before we get to Domino, right? We got um, ta- and Phantom X. We were going to talk Phantom about X. Phantom X. Uh, but X Force, uh, ba- it basically looks like X Force are going to be really good for allies for thwarting. Um, plus one thwart, minus one consequential uh, for thwarting a side scheme. So, like, really just laying into the side scheme thing here. Um, yep, that makes sense. Uh, so, it means like Calban now thwarts for two and doesn't even take damage for, <laughs> for thwarting a side scheme, right? So, like, it makes cards, like, get ready and stuff really good for thwarting because you can just start reading allies, get and two thwarts out of them. And they consequential. Don't, it, it take, yeah, exactly. Wow. Um, so, so definitely, like, really buffing up your options uh, over here. But to be fair, only uh, for side schemes, which is still a thing. Still a thing, especially when you're either playing them or pulling them out, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, so that even makes... The justice cards that pull outside schemes better as well. All right, I gotta click on Deadpool. Although I am, I I'll be honest, I've never been more excited for an alter ego more than I am for Domino. Like I love that art in her alter ego card. Like I'm just gonna stay alter ego just to stare at that art all day. Like, are you are you gonna bring dice to the table when you play? I am a huge craps fan. You have no idea. Like that is. Of all, the, I, I don't like because I've never seen you play craps. Of all the games slash board games like that I've gotten into in my life, like craps is definitely a huge influence on me. So I love craps, and just seeing her throw craps dice is just ah ah chef's kiss. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm curious what you, you're gonna you think about Deadpool. All right, so Deadpool. Let's look. Two, two, three, three cost. 
already like it. Um, that for me is a well above average stat line for a three cost uh, ally. Force interrupt. When Deadpool would be defeated by consequential damage, heal three damage from him instead. Uh, add an acceleration took in the main scheme. I mean, I probably won't do that. Um, but very would often. You? Would I? End game? Yes. Like once. But it's a force interrupt. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. But it's only forced if you die by consequential damage. Matt Morley says you're very quiet, Peter. Oh. In the chat, by the way. Sorry. I am hopefully not as quiet now. Yeah, my mic, this always happens. I don't know why. Um, I'm always quieter, so I actually quiet everyone else a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's annoying to me. Um, but anyway, so getting back to Deadpool. Yes, I would play Deadpool 10 times out of 10. Um, again, 3-3, three, three, 3 health, 3 cost. 2-2 two, two stat line. Um, and you don't have to do this consequential damage, right? It is forced. No, no, no. But you don't have to take the third consequential damage. You just chump them. Yeah, you can chump them. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. But, 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 but like, if you take the acceleration, he still can thwart past it if you just keep him around. Yeah, but that only works once, right? It, again, it only works if there's six turns or less left in the game. And then you're kind of forcing his hand anyway, for the most part. I don't know that it would be worth it. Uh, I he, would... he does also combo with Uncanny X-Force, though. So then he becomes a three thwart and minus one consequential for thwarting. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> That's stupid. Three th just, oh, no, no, no. Out there, just, just, for, just for side schemes. Just for side Yeah, games. just for side schemes. Yeah. All right, Mary, I feel like you said you wanted me, us to talk about something else as well. Deadpool, stupid good. Um, and he's a neutral, by the way, also. So just he can go at every one of my decks. You're only going to get one copy of him, though. Shut it, Terrence. <laughs> Shut it. So who do you want to talk on? Caliban? No, no. Who is the other one? Phantom X. Uh, Phantom X. It's earlier in the paragraph. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's very pretty. I like his I like his card art for sure. Uh, well, because no, no, we were going to talk about it at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, well, look at his stat line though, like one we're... one three health for four costs. Like read the whole Deadpool, card, man. Read, read the, the whole card. card. I will read the response, but I'm just saying, like I don't know. This is a card I would. I I understand the response might be great, it, but this is a card I would it, probably not add. Just because. You know, it's it's more than two costs, Mary. So I don't know why you're asking. Exactly. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Hey, I, I'm going to include Deadpool at three cost. So after Phantom X enters play, search your deck and discard pile for EVA and put it into play and shuffle. Click the right arrow uh, on that, Peter. Oh, hold Don't on. EVA. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. EVA, zero cost support. If Phantom X is not in play, discard it. So it only is in play when Phantom X is in play. EVA exhausted to choose. Remove a threat from a scheme, deal damage to an enemy, heal a damage from Phantom X. All right. So he's a 1-1 one, one, though, right? 1-1-1. One, one, one. Yep. You have to add this card into your deck that you can't do anything with except for use it as a resource unless he's in play. And yes, it gives him a second thwarting or a second whatever. And basically, if he just stays in play and doesn't jump for you, takes one of your ally spots, you get basically a free thwart or attack every turn. It's fine. I mean, it's better than fine. It's really good. But four cost is expensive. Like, people don't play beat cop, which is not the same but similar. You know what I mean? Four cost to basically thwart one every turn. He has the option of thwarting or attacking. Yes, but it's slow. I feel like you're going to think it's too slow, Terrence. I think he definitely fits into a Voltron spec because you can heal him every turn. Mm -hmm. Right. If you boost him up with stat boosts and don't ever use EVA for anything else except... Because that's the weird part about this. Like, why do they even have the remove a threat or deal a damage? 
Like, I guess there are some turns you're going to want to both attack. It with gets him. you around retaliate, so it gives you that flexibility. I it guess. gives you a little flexibility, but nine times out of ten, you're going to want to heal him that one. I feel like. Well, unless you're running him mostly for thwart, and you've got uncanny X Force out. Yeah. Right. So then you get to thwart two with him and thwart one with this other thing or poke one or do whatever you want with it. Yeah. So I, I guess there is some, some synergy there. I mean, yeah. Um, we also don't know what other attachments that are going to be X force, like X force specific attachments either. Like maybe there's something like, uh, you know, like this energy spear for bug, right? Like, well, sure. But all the training yeah. stuff is so good. Like for, um, and that's X-Men only though. Right. The training yeah. room stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. like that's. So we'll, the we'll stuff. see what they come out with uh, in the cycle. Um, well, the fact uh, that he's in leadership certainly going to help. Yeah, right? I mean, you can like obviously you said, inspired you, you uh, to start with, um, but uh, yeah, just just thematically because I have read comics with uh, Phantom X, uh, EVA is his like ship, yep. which is why um, she's it's she's like a living computer kind of ship thing. So he like talks to her and stuff, but I will, you know, me, I'm going to make a Voltron deck with this. Cause I love Voltron decks and I love allies that do the work for me. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Just at, at face value, unless you're building a deck around it, I don't know. It's great. You know what I mean? If you're just using him as an ally in your deck, I don't know that I would ever do that. I think that's true of a lot of like kind of four cost allies besides Nick Fury that uh, if you're going to like spend four for a thing, they usually there's a good chance they might be a centerpiece right. to your deck, you know, um, yeah. because they are taking a large effort to get into play. Right. It's like, it's like that's like your whole hand if you have a five card hand. Right. All right. So let's talk about my new favorite uh, hero. Because Domino. she's justice, precon. I don't. Need, oh, and she's justice, and she's got Wolfsbane in her precon. Oh God, oh, come on! <laughs> like this is game over time. Game over, man. Game over. Um, her stat line's kind of garbage. One thwart, two attack, three defense. What do you mean? This is like the Spider-Man stat line, dude. It's like the tried and true corset Spider-Man. Uh, but she's a mutant, and she's a posse and X Force on the other side. I mean, she's a posse. And she plays crash. I mean, we haven't gotten to the posse, the posse trait allies yet. Well, hold so. on. Let me th- let's think about this. Does Black Widow have a craps table on her alter ego side as well? No, she, I think uh, she's just poker. like at the poker table. Is it just poker? Some card table. It's oh, like okay. some card table that well, she's smoking, right? I got. I got to be honest. I like craps better than poker. So Domino might be my new favorite hero. Let's did see. you just did you just did you just shame Black Widow just I now? I did. What is she doing at the You've heard it here first, Mary. Craps. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on, come on, Black Widow. Well, I, I, Bring it. I think now this means that on a stream after this comes out, you guys have to do a, a casino game. Oh yeah. Where each of you are playing like Black Widow and Domino. I, well, I feel like Black Widow's time in the sun is counting down till August right now. Yes, yes. Well, she does have those cards that lets her do stuff because she's a spy, right? Like in yeah, you can't you can't break and enter with Domino. Yeah, well, but she's got a posse. I mean, so there's that. She's the only posse so far that I've seen, right? Posse. Yeah. She also has a pug, which is kind of cool. She's a dog. She's a dog. Pip the pug. Oh come on! This is game over time. My new favorite hero. So her name is Nina Thurman. Uh, she she likes craps and she uh, likes smoking guns and uh, is very lucky. Uh, all right. So action. Uh, choose a card in your hand. Swap that card with the top card of your discard pile. What did I say? It was going to affect discard. Yep. Uh, all right. So when counting resources on cards, Terman, uh, wait, discarded from the top of your deck, count each printed wild icon twice. So obviously she's going to do something with discarding cards from the top of her deck. She still has normal hand size though. Uh, action. Choose a card. <laughs> you in your sound hand. so disappointed. It's a plebe normal. Well, hand no, no, no. I, I thought she would have a small hand size and be able to like discard cards to pay for, you know what I mean? 
Like I thought it was one of those things. Uh, it's no, I, I think I, th I think the discards like triggering for abilities, not paying for stuff. Gotcha. When counting resources on cards discarded from the top of your deck, can each printed wild resource twice? I feel like she's gonna pay for stuff from the top of her deck. Like if you scroll down to Wolf Spain, uh, well, we'll get there. We'll get uh, there. Slow down, my new favorite ally. Uh, beside Deadpool, it's gonna be all Deadpool, Wolf Spain, and Domino. just just click um. I guess just click um. Uh, Diamondback, like whatever the first like signature card she has. Settle down, and you'll see. So choose a card in Domino's hand. Swap that card with the top card of your deck. So, yeah, I mean it's, I yeah. I feel like that's all stuff. I, I think resourceful say. just became really good. Which one's resourceful? It's the like one cost uh, with vision art. That's like, it is a wild resource in the, as a resource, but then if you pay one, you can put it into play and then you can spend it as a resource and then discard it. I really like that card in Nova. Yeah, it's really good in Nova, but like, I feel like it, in Domino also, she loves wild. So like, mm -hmm. You're gonna to want to have in your hand. You're gonna to want to swap it on top of your deck, so when you trigger stuff, it will be the top card. You know it's a yeah. wild. Yeah. So Diamondback, you want me to look at? So one one two yeah, two cost. Shows you. That that's her signature just... ally, and you know I love two cost allies. Like I don't mind one one if it's two cost. Exhaust Diamondback. Deal one damage to her, and discard the top two cards of your deck. Deal one damage to each enemy. For each resource I kind of discarded this way and Wilds account twice, right? Yep. Just the top card of your deck, not the top two cards. Oh, wait. Oh, yep. yeah. But she can determine what the top card of her deck is by her action. Yep. All right. I mean... Well, the, the other fun stat that they talk about is 14 of her 15 signature cards have wild resource icons. What? Oh, my God. Well, well, that uh, makes sense. That... All right, I never thought of that, but that's good. That's good. And and if if you scroll down uh, past Wolf Spain, we'll come back to Wolf Spain, but click on Outlaw. Uh, I see Overwatch. I see the Posse, White Fox. Where do you see Outlaw? It's above White Fox, previous sons. Oh, Outlaw. Right. Yeah. Yep. Oh, another signature. Posse as well. Yeah. So oh. She's got two signature allies. Oh. Wait. Do Are, are we going to get lots of questions about that? Like two signature obligations? Like. Uh, there's nothing wrong with two signature allies. It just haven't been done before. Yeah. If uh, they can go down to zero, you can go up to two, right? Well, they definitely go down to zero. That is for darn sure. When Outlaw attacks. Discard the top card of your deck. Outlaw gets plus one attack for this, uh, for each resource icon discarded this way. And again, wild count twice for this, right? Yep. So she can get plus three attack when she attacks with tough. Three cost. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good. And she's posse, which I feel like you're just going to... I mean, she should come with... Uh, I mean, you got to click the posse card then beneath all right i feel like she's got to come with uh whatchamacallit right what is that thing that you pay for resources with the same name um team building exercise team building i feel like that's a gimme she's all about the posse uh play only if you control at least three characters with the posse trait Ooh, that is not necessarily easy to do uh hero action heal one damage from each posse character and ready them I mean, it's super duper good. So it's like a uh, a team up event, but just for posse characters. Yep. And are there only potentially three in the game? Because they only show pictures of three of them. White Fox is a posse member. Yeah, I don't know how many posses there are characters. I mean, I like it. White Fox. I mean, let's be honest. Wolfsbane's not a posse character. Well, then it's no good. Uh, after White Fox is discarded from the top of your deck, put her into play under your control. And you can do this. Now, she doesn't have a wild resource. How cool would that be if she was wild, counted twice, 
and whatever. But it's still pretty cool that you can control getting her for free. All right. Like, I like the hand management of of Domino. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like her a lot. I could tell already. Um, I mean, hand management's always... I mean, this is a hand management game, so this just, like, leans into, I think, something Marvel Champions is... Well, but I feel like even better than normal. All right, Wolfsbane. All right, so 3-3, two thwart, one attack. Response after Wolfsbane thwarts. Name a card type, then discard the top card of your deck. If that card is the name type, you may add it to your hand. Well, I mean, again... It is limit once per round, Peter, so you can't, like, super abuse it, but... You have to pick one. Where do you one see per. once per round? Oh, the domino thing is once per round. Yeah, yeah. So you can only like, you can only know one one if you're like, if you have a bunch of these kind of triggers. Out, well, right? but imagine this. Imagine Wolfsbane with, uh, the X Force leadership, which you can't do, um, because he's a different, he's Justice, but uh, that would be freaking amazing, right? Uh, I mean, you can't like make the call. Three thwart. Wolfsbane? Seems good. Seems good. Three thwart, no consequential damage. Uh. So, all right, I'm, I'm fading fast. So, we got uh, Team Investigation Alliance card. Uh, players can pay for it as a group, but it's only. Oh, it's super player. Oh, that's the first time we've seen that, right? It's usually yep. like four yep. cost, whatever. Interesting. Uh, hero action, remove three per player. Threat from a side scheme. Thank you. By the way, thank you. Although, I don't love the per player cost. But, um, yeah. Finally, a way to get rid of that like per player BS that they put on side schemes. You could pay your way to a player side scheme now. You can do what? You can use this to pay for a player's side scheme, right? Or a good chunk of it. Well, is that true? Like, so let's let's say that it says only I can thwart it, which I guess is just that one no, card. You, yeah, that's only that's only Cable's card. All the other ones don't. But say I, that. I don't assume. So, you for can instance, use it. call for call for backup is three per player. Okay. So, so you could use team investigation. You're like everyone pay two cards. Would you pay two cards to get an ally? You know, like across the table. That's the conversation you could have now. Yeah, I still feel like it's pretty high costed for the most part. That is an exception to the rule. But two per player to remove three per player? Just get rid of the per player. Would you pay two to remove three? Seems high, right? I don't know that it becomes better because it's per player. If that makes sense. I think it becomes better because uh, like you wouldn't pay two for three because it's the card, but it becomes better at four player because only one player pays for the extra one. I get that, but how many side schemes are going to need 12? Removal Um, as well. uh, Call for backup does. So it's like, would you pay two across the table? No, no, but again, let's take out that one card example right like for the most i mean part, i think this is like i think this card is like literally built for clearing side schemes like that right big Generally. side schemes yeah so like the the from the fantasy set from mojo madness yeah uh, i forget what it is i forget what it the side scheme is but in the fantasy set there's that side scheme the fetch quest. quest yeah that's like what that card's 20, so good if you've got four people playing it's like 24 it's like 24 threat but this would remove like half that. of it yeah but i mean that's like that's huge because i've i've never been able to clear that i've um, cleared it low player count but yeah I've cleared it solo pretty yeah. easily yeah. Well, but only solo you're not clearing it three and four players i think mary has a point there so yeah, so I think like this particular card would be really good for something like that where you've got a super high threat side scheme. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I just think it's awful expensive. 
Because even at four players, it costs eight to remove twelve. Now, granted, I get Terrence's point, and I agree with you that only one person's paying the card tax of like playing the card itself. But eight is still an awful lot to remove. I, 12. I think eight's a lot, but like when you get to split it across the group too, because like some might, someone might have a double resource. You know, like you might be running X Jet, you might have another person running Quinn Carrier, and they can all contribute like that way, right? So but the card like, pool is so I, good right now, so good. Look at all of our turns. Beside your turn one, every turn you have a handful of good cards that you want to play. All of them. Oh, it was actually the first two turns for me, but well, yeah, but but you know what I mean. Like most turns, you have a handful of good cards. I don't think this one makes the cut, honestly, for me. Um, again, except for special situations, of course. Yeah, I, I guess part of it is just like, I don't know if um, when you're playing someone like Cable, if like that is a special situation where you can easily pull those cards out, right? Well, if you got a million cards that are three per player, yes, of course. Uh, which is what he's going to do, right? Like, he literally has an alter ego support or something that allows him when he flips down to pull any side scheme from his deck. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But so, only if they're three per player and only... I mean, if they weren't three per player, like, if they're four per player, like, I would probably pay this and then thwart once or something, right? Like, But only if it's worth it also. Like, the, the reward has to be worth it. Because removing 12 sounds good in a four player game. But you also have to think how many times you need to remove 12. Only in those situations, like you said, where Cable's got these side schemes. And you're... Well, it doesn't even have to be Cable, right? Like, anyone can run those side schemes. Um, so... But only the Justice ones. Like, I guess other people could play them if you're... Yeah, and a team... If you're playing this in an in alliance, sure. right? Like, you're expecting to play with other people. Like, what's the chance after this box come out comes out that people are going to just have like a one of or something of a side scheme. Play well, it depends scheme. how like good they good. are. And they may only I mean, be one of also, I would assume most of them. Will they be are all one ofs because yeah. they're uniques. So yeah. like, yeah. I, I think, I think they are like, they're pretty good. Uh, well, the ones we've seen, seen so are pretty good, but you know, how it's going to be some are going to be garbage and some are going to be great. Um, I, I only think there's going to be like five in this box at most right well like right one per aspect like not even this box right because Um, right because like you can again leave them out there until you need it unless they're hurting you all right so let's go to the last picture let's Did guess. you want to look at pip the pug no i do but gosh it's getting late um all right where's pip or the jackpot pug? where where are we i'm looking under domino where's pip the pug Diamondback, it's, good workout. Must it, be a lady. Domino's it's the, pistols. It's the paragraph right above the Pimp justice the cards. Duty. All three go action. Like exhaust pip the pug. Put one uh, domino or posse card from your discard pile on top of your deck. All right, that's fine. I mean, I get the play from the top of your deck stuff. Um, it basically I, allows you to prep two cards, right? Uh, for your to next like, turn to or know what they are right or you get that and then you get the next one it, it, it's going to be good when you're flipping up yeah exactly so you get those two cards so you know what's coming yeah twice yeah. um but it's also going to be good to like hey i get rid of my signature best attack in the game now i can bring it back also maybe i don't want to you know yeah chump it away maybe i want to trade the top card of my deck to get it and you can guarantee uh, that as well. Oh, God. But, that your best attack on top of your deck, and then you trade your card for it. So you can keep getting your best attack every third turn. 
Now, now you have to her. click uh, jackpot after that. Is that is that her? I, I do have to attack? say I love the uh, the flavor text on Pip the Pug. Uh, did you just piddle on me, you nasty little sausage? Nice. Well, I got to see her pistols now too, because I do like guns in the game. Uh, restricted attack. Your action attack, exhaust Domino's pistol, choose an enemy, and discard the top card of your deck. Deal one damage to the enemy for each resource icon discarded this way. The attack gains ranged. Yeah, alright, whatever. I mean, up to two damage. No, up to three damage, man. Gotta hit click jackpot. Oh, alright, all three. Uh, after this card is discarded from the top of your deck, shuffle it back into your deck. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a, uh, what is that card? A burrito, a, uh, churro. Shawarma. Shawarma. Shawarma yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like a shawarma that keeps coming back. All right, that's yeah. pretty good. Then you have to now click probability field. Oh, geez. Terrence. <laughs> All right. So two cost upgrade. Uh, interrupt. When you use a basic power, discard the top card of your deck. Get plus one to the power for this use for each resource icon discarded this way. Discard the top card of your deck. So you get plus one for whatever. It's an upgrade. You can use it. Or or, or likely plus yeah, it's, two. It's, yeah, because you're determining what the top card of your deck is. I love in the background how there's like a safe falling on a dude. Yep. <laughs> like, that's the probability field, right? That's that's like her thing. Uh, all right. All right. Let's stop. Stop. You get me too excited. My new favorite hero. All right. And especially with Wolfsbane, oh man, justice. I'm all justice all the time. Team investigation, not making my deck though. I'm telling you now. Like there's a very low probability that card makes my deck. What happens if you're playing with Cable who's running call for backup so you can pull Wolfsbane on turn one? Might run it. Did you lose Peter? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Test. Peter. I can hear Mary. What happened to Peter? He's been kind of. I feel like. Can you hear me now? In and out. You can hear me now. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I yeah. don't know what happened. It changed my audio source for some reason. Uh, I, I was saying, Peter, what, what about if? You're playing with Cable, who pulls call for backup, so you can get Wolfsman on turn one. Would you run Team Investigation? Like, pushing it here, Terrence. Get out of here. Like, little situations that I would bring it, but did we lose Peter again? <laughs> Wait, do, do you also hate Team Investigation, Mary? Me? Yeah, or is it just Peter the, the absolute hater? I think it's just Peter. I mean, I don't think it's like an amazing Casa card, but I feel like it is 100% made for player side actions or player side schemes. Yeah. Can you hear me now? I can yes. hear you now. All right. Well, hopefully the audience didn't lose me. Let me double check that as well. No, they're good. The audience loves me, even if you guys hate me. All right, so do we have uh, guesses for the um, this what's up X bound and uh, X force inbound? I feel like I don't know nearly enough about X force. I feel like the left one though has got to be Deadpool because he's got like an arrow in his chest, right? Uh, no, I I think the one on the right is Deadpool because he's breaking the um bear the yeah frame. He's breaking the frame, yeah. And it looks like he's eating a taco. Or burrito. Yeah. All right, I can buy into that. So who's shot in the chest? Um, So the, the best guess that I saw for all of these um, that I agree with is that that one is X-23 and that she's um, got like an apple or something on one of her claws. Um, oh, the guy. Well, hmm? 
the the little girl. Yeah, that's that's yeah. uh Wolverine's daughter, right? Yeah, I think that's who she is. If you watch the Wolverine movie, like the, the latest one, like she is in that for sure. Um that would be cool. I mean, another Wolverine, right. not going to be mad about that. <laughs> and then uh the guy standing there looking like he's in a trench coat could be Angel. Yeah, because... I don't know much about Angel. That looks like uh, Gambit to me, but clearly Gambit's already out, so it's not going to be Gambit yeah. again. Well, and Angel was known for wearing um, like a big, well, like well, big his wings because of his wings. Yeah. Ah, I got you. Psylocke? And then Psylocke, yeah. But doesn't Psylocke have like arm blades? Doesn't mean she has it lit up. Yeah. Well, that and they for the silhouettes they usually do the alter ego side. Oh, okay. Did she so she's eating an apple on her alter ego side? That's interesting. <laughs> With a blade out, giving you the With middle a blade finger. Out? Yeah. yeah. I mean she only has two, so it's not a middle finger, but Alright. So Psylocke? I mean, I'd be happy with all of those. I'm super you know I'm super excited for Deadpool. Um, I I could care an X twenty three I'd be excited by Psylocke I'd be excited by the dude not so much whoever Snow Angel guy whatever oh I I'm excited if that's Angel I mean um, I don't, I to be fair I know literally almost zero about Angel so but uh. Let's see. But I think everybody is excited about Deadpool. Yeah. No, Deadpool is just really... I mean, it's Spider-Ham personified, right? They they tested the water with Spider-Ham, and now they're just going to take it to 11, I feel like, with Deadpool. Yeah. Yeah, I thought they did a really good job with Spider-Ham, making him feel just kind of zany, off the wall. So I'm interested to see how they kind of do that with Deadpool. Yep. Cool. All right. Well, I got a bunch of teenage girls upstairs running around still awake. So I got to go take care of that. I got to put my son to bed because he's still awake. So uh, Do you have a hockey game in the morning. No hockey. No. I mean, it's Easter weekend. Come on, Terrence. Although starting next week, we got practices every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So don't expect to see uh streaming for me on any of those days. But, uh, yeah, I'll be around Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, but um well there'll be tournaments on the weekends sometimes as well. So we'll see. That that may affect our streaming schedule. We may have to move to to uh cooperative card game Thursday or something on some weeks. We'll see. But that's it for me. I'm out. How about you all? You doing good? Everything uh you, you get everything off your chest? Uh, yeah. Terrence, any final thoughts? Uh, August is really far away, but uh, I think this will be a really good box. Um, I imagine they'll preview it at Gen Con if something like it that. It feels like they're holding it for it, Gen yeah. Con. So the last yeah. big release was Gen Con last year. So it's going to be a year between release, big box release. They didn't. Even, they didn't even release it at Gen Con, right? It right was after Gen Con. Yeah. I mean, yeah. previewed it at Gen Con. Yeah. So it'll be a year between big box releases or, or previews. Yeah. So it, it seems like it's moving to like the later generation LCG cycle where the releases are like once a year for like a cycle versus more than once a year. I don't know that they're, they want it to be that though. Right. Cause the game is still selling. I feel like, I mean, Arkham and Arkham also is selling really well, but they moved it to a slower cycle. Do you so. think they're just out of ideas? Or do you think they're working on something in the back burner? Does that mean the next LCG is coming out? Star Wars LCG? Anybody? Anybody? I mean, I, I would I would buy a cooperative Star Wars LCG. In a you know it's right? coming. I mean, everybody in the I world mean, knows it's coming. We've been coming. talking about this for like a decade now, man. So. <laughs> no, no, no. But the fact that this is slowed down, that signals all it, the, right? All the, all the LCGs slow down, though. But they just got a second designer on it. Yeah. Well, and, and they did say... Um... I think Caleb said previously that the from 
when they design a character to when it actually sees retail is about two years. And it's been about two years since COVID really hit and so you think that's the slowdown? Down. Yeah. It it could also be because of that Star Wars Declan game that he worked on yep. too. Yeah. So this could be a one off situation sure. because of that. Yeah. I I hope it doesn't stay slow. <laughs> I mean, you say that, but I feel like all the LCG people have this grief, right? You've been here before, Mary. Yeah, but yeah, with just with this one in particular, it's my it's my favorite game. So, yeah. All right, Mary. Um, thank you for joining us, Terrence. Thank you as always. It was good beating up on some uh, some Claw tonight. It's been a while since I've beat up Claw, so uh, I, always enjoyable, and I always love Iron Man. Uh, even though I made the most basic deck ever, it feels like a deck that I probably should bring to Con of Heroes because it's so help everybody else at the table and kind of just do my own thing. Uh, I don't know. Like it, it's, it, it's an early greedy deck though, right? So it's early like greedy, late, super helpful. I feel like, yeah, I mean, that's true of all the robot yeah. heroes though. Armor heroes, right? But not as much. Like, I mean, between between uh, Helicarrier and Mansion, I feel like you. Well, can I just really... mean all, all the all the armor heroes are slow. Like yes. War Machine, Ironheart, and there's some of my favorites too. Yeah. Well, I mean, Widow um, is even slower. I feel like, gosh, the more I play her, the more I realize how slow she is to get all those like things out, like that she needs to make her super good. Um, takes a while, but then end game she just like controls everything. Yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna bring I think for justice I'll probably bring like Cap America Justice or something that gets up quickly and can thwart re- really well. Cool. All right, everybody. Well, we will talk to you in a week when we are playing. Who knows? We'll see. Um, I, I'm I'm gonna probably push for Lord of the Rings next week. Um, we'll see if we can get the mod up and working. But if you do want to see um, another card game that we'll probably feature at some point, Sky Terror Horde, I'm going to be playing that Saturday or Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, I don't know if Terrence is going to join me or not, but uh, you'll see at least a solo game, if not a multiplayer game of that. So um, if you like Marvel Champions, I feel like you'll like Sky Terror Horde. Uh, it feels like a shorter, simpler version to me um obviously there's a lot of differences but like when i want to feel some of the same feels i feel with marvel champions but in like a 20 to 30 minute time frame even multiplayer like that's where i go to all right well that'll be it so hopefully we see you sunday and uh i don't remember if i'm gonna be on tomorrow or not i may be on even if unscheduled so we'll see Uh, Don't have a lot this weekend, which is awesome. But um, yeah, thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.